Okay, salama, salama to all the Bantus and and the world, Oceania. Salama to the Bantus in Africa, North America, South South Africa, Azania, as it was called originally. Uh, salama to the Bantus in the Caribbean. Salama to the Bantus in the Americas and Asia, Oceania. Salama to everyone, Kimbo Kimbo, Natatanzambi Yamazulu, and for Johnny John, you know, they, they, they call us our people, I'm learning the clicks, uh, Nanini, Nini Nanini, Barak, uh, blessings be upon all of you, uh, the, woke, the Most High, it was almost like he was screaming in my ear <laughs> this morning to wake me up to deliver this message because there's been so much confusion among his people as to the slavery and the and the release of slavery in in this world. Um, I'm going to share a message, and he I'm praying that he will protect this message because it's going to expose uh, a lot of fallacies. Um, the main culprit. As many of us here in the Americas know, is the the boule, and you probably heard them people people talk about this. Um, these these are people for for a very long time that were set up to keep us in place because like like Janata uh, Chalombo said, once the word is out. It's all said and done. It's a wrap. Uh, by the way, um, Salama to uh, Yanata Chalombo, Jonathan Chalombo. Uh, salama to the Issachar couple. They are, you know, very, very well helpful in learning my truth. Uh, salama to the Gabitsi Namalongo. You know, I'm praying that your channel does get back up and that everything's working well. Uh, salama to Johnny John. Hopefully she's still around. The Kosa people, the Zulu, the, the Lingala, the Cholubas, the Malubas, uh, the people, the, the 12 tribes scattered all over the globe. And uh, a lot of the people who, who have helped me to grow in this faith and understanding and, and that has helped me because the Most High... Uh, Yahuwah or Nanini Nanini has um, definitely opened, you know, there was a, I'm going to tell you about, I'm going to start off with um, this, this scripture and I'm going to, it's going to go into the movie that what came out back in 1999 that Tom Cruise and uh, Nicole Kidman were famous for. And that the Most High actually showed me that one of the things that um, a lot of people don't know about what Tom Cruise has been doing. Yeah, I know he's part of the, the Wicked Elite, they say, but he's also helped doing his part to bring out some of the... That's why the last movie he made about the drug dealer in Colombia. I can't remember the movie, but he's also been trying to show you some things after they killed that, the director for that movie. Um, so they, uh, they said he had a heart attack when he came out with the movie Eyes Wide Shut. Now, the Most High has, has, has actually given me a revelation about slavery. And he also gave me a revelation about the, um, the image that it's over uh, when it's not. And so, people think the Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves when actually slavery was pretty much already done even before that. There's a conspiracy that people will say I'm talking about. And I know those that visited the, the museum in Washington, D.C., the Most High gave me a revelation about that museum. Um, it, it talked about how they showed in the video 
and I thank the Issachar couple for this, that we were on the stock market. And one of the things that most High showed me is that that never stopped. So I'm going to get into this. I'm going to read this scripture. And, um, you know, this, this is going to go into our eyes wide shut thing. Um, I'm going to talk about Willie Lynch and one of the things that they don't tell you about Willie Lynch that allowed us to continue to be under control. And it didn't just expand. They used the Willie Lynch methodology in Africa as well and other parts of the world. It wasn't just about, it was the concept. And it was, I remember watching a video. It's a guy who, his name was, um, the, the guy that does it is called Shake, Shaking My Head Productions. You might want to check out some of the stuff he puts. I know some of it comes from a Christianity perspective, but the stuff that he reveals, man, it's, it's mind blowing. And there was a video he put on there where they had tricked the slave into believing that he was part of an ownership of the plantation. That, what people don't know, is that project went so well. You know, when they talk about, they say, well, black people were owning slaves. Well, that's why black people were owning slaves, but they said they were paying them. Uh, one of the things that they lied about um, slavery is and why you'll even see the, the, the slave whipping the slave is that it was the twisting. I mean, they had it they had it down to a science so well that we were running the plantation. Okay, the, the, that's why um, we they, they the run we we would take care of our own runaways. We would take care of our. That's why the end of the, the, they they kind of modified that, that free state of state of Jones was kind of a twisted movie. If you really look at the true history about a lot of that stuff, um, most white people in the South could not afford slave plantations. Um, only the big top wealthy, and it was a small percentage of white people that were wealthy, and we know who they really were. They were part of the Freemasons, the, 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 the secret societies, and, and that in itself should tell you that... Um, we, we, there's been a bamboozling of the history books, you know, because the one thing it, that no one ever seems to address, and I'm not afraid of him because the Most High has, has said I'm connected because I'm not, you know, Esau was able to stand up to him, why can't Yahuwah, is, is Nimrod. And the thing about Nimrod is he taught these people how to chase down the Banabitu, the the house of Abana, uh, the house of Yisoleli, of, uh, um, of Yis Yis as Johnny John said, Yikael, uh, you know, the set apart people. And he was a master of it because even in his death, he got us kicked out of our homeland because of our worship of him. And that's what caused a lot of the problems for us because one of the things that they've always known and I'm also going to go into something that many people, this is why Rome locks the Vatican. <laughs> they only let certain things out. Um, why they try to cover up some of the things about the Roman Empire. I'm going to go into what I call the Roman slave trade. So when you try to tell, when people try to tell me that Bantus, the, the, the slave trade wasn't, was uh, only... The, the Islamic and the, and the, and the uh, uh, transatlantic slave trade, the Most High said, you know, this is what happens when you get your, your knowledge erased, okay, and, and you don't understand, and they're trying to cover things up because if they, if they, didn't, if they didn't cover up the, the way the Romans went around the world, then you would know who the real Hebrews, it would connect the dots as to who the real Hebrews are. That's why the, the historians, whenever it, it, people don't understand, whenever a professor is published on any type of historical find or any type of historical, um, they have to send that work to the Masons. Okay. So whenever they come across something, or especially like paleontologists or whatever they do, they have, whenever something, and I'm going to get back to what my topic is because I'm, I'm entitling this, um, going deeper down the rabbit hole, uh, the devil's rap, the matrix. And one of the things that, you know, I'm even going to talk about, you know, I heard a, 
something about the real reason why Bernie Mac was killed. That doesn't surprise me. I'm going to go into that as well. Um, there's a lot of deception that people don't even know. Not even a lot of the people, you know, the people that say they won't say it on YouTube. And on the most I said, you give the message because my people are really, really, really deceived because um, he he's already doing he's been doing the Pharaoh let my people go for a hundred some years and then what he's gonna what I'm gonna demonstrate is that when they don't do it okay he retaliated and when he and when he retaliated they retaliated against us so that that all these wars um that you hear about all of this um human trafficking i'm mean, gonna especially address the porn industry because that's something that was a, was a real problem of mine um i'm going to address the drug trafficking uh one of the things you're going to know the plantation the, the plantation didn't leave <laughs> okay it it got moved um, I remember a guy, gentleman, there was a Freemason who came out and said the, the, what the real job of the Ku Klux Klan is now and the bikers that you see driving on the road, uh, what, what they're, how they, op ever, ever, ever stops to think about these people ride on bikes all the time and they don't have jobs, but yet they have money to fix bikes. How? Okay. Um. The Ku Klux Klan, they, you know, they're still around. Why are they still around? Um, they, they, they make the statement about hating Jews so that the, the, the biggest reason why they make the statement about hating Jews is so you don't know that it was the Jews that started them. Okay. They have to say that. That way that you don't catch wind that it was, they were a production of the families of the Illuminati. They were just like the NAACP, you know, I've learned a lot, a lot of flack from the black people about this. They're going to say, oh, they did so much. I'm going to show you, the Most High is going to show you, okay, there, that when he says our enemies surround us, not only do they surround us, but they use us big time. There's the sad part about what I'm going to say is there's a lot of banabetu in the secret societies, okay? A lot of them, and you know, I think uh, Yanata Chilombo he got into he was upset about the 12 tribes chart, he was upset about a lot of the things that's being taught. Okay, the there's no secret here in America among the Hebrews that some of these dudes and some of these cats running this show, all as I told a brother that called me and I told him about it, you can't, I said it's just like this, okay. Imagine being in Egypt in our days. Are you going to be able to stand on the street corner or stand on the whatever they we are, stand outside and start um, bashing the pharaoh if the pharaoh didn't know about it? Which is something that may, in our history that people don't even know took place is what allowed them to continue. We had gatekeepers every captivity we went to. You know, they talk about the gatekeepers, that that is the one way they were able to control us. They have to, if they got to put some of us in charge. And then they, they would, you know, to help them um, spur the hatred, they would say that we're talking negative against the leadership. Well, how do you think that was what led to the uh, burning? And see, that's why I'm trying to tell people that, you know, we, they're, you cannot, the whole purpose of why they're doing it is to, is to make us look bad, okay? Because the, the Isaiah, if you're really spitting truth and you're really doing what Hamashiach says, you end up in that furnace like what happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You end up in that furnace like Abana, okay, Abraham. You end up in a, hanging from a tree like so many people, and I'm going to get into that why they were really lynching us, okay? Um, I'm going to go into the scripture, and we're going to start here. Um, 
it's called, and, and I really do hope this vest really gets out. I know a lot of people don't have, don't have a lot, a lot of views, but this is something that's important to because I'm going to show you how slavery, the most high is still saying, let my people go because we're still in slavery. And uh, people talk about, well, we get to fly everywhere. We get to do this, we get to do that. But you don't understand is, is that in our mind, what are we calling ourselves when we're flying everywhere? In our mind, what do we think is what we're really doing? It's about business. It's about you know making money for our families. It's about taking vacations. It's about visiting. But the concept is when you do these things, you're not saying, I'm one of the most highest people. Okay? So there's a lot of, of uh, deception going on and i'm gonna show you how the enemy when he when he talks about the tears okay i'm gonna get into that so we're gonna go into the matea chapter 13 verse uh 20 24 now this i have these scriptures and i know <laughs> johnny john said this is still because of the coast coastal bible that a lot of these words are still he, uh, heathen, and I and I get it. You don't go to the enemy to learn how to speak your own language, <laughs> but you know that's that's kind of how this book. I don't have a Kosa Bible. I'm gonna work on getting one, and some of the other scriptures. But this is one of the things that now this book calls it Darnell instead of Terrors. And <laughs> I thought about that because I know people name Darnell, and I, now I realize why they use that word. But it says um. Another parable he put before them, saying, The reign of the Shamayin or the Zulu has become like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed darnel or tares among the wheat and went away. And when the blade sprouted and bore fruit, then the darnel also appeared. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, do you not sow good seed in your field? From where, where then does it have the darnel or the tares? And he said to them, A man, an enemy, did this. Now remember, the, the, they said that the man is a 666. Now I know there's other people have said it was more of a sign that they saw. Not, not really the 666, but um, they used that. And a man, enemy, did this. And the servant said to him, Do you want them, them that we go and gather them up? But he said, no, lest while you gather up the darnel, you also uproot the wheat with them. Let, let both grow until the harvest, and at the time of the harvest, I shall say to the reapers, first gather the darnel and bind them in bundles, burn them, and put them, and put, and but gather the wheat into my granary. Okay, so, how, now we know when we're talking about the darnel going into the fire, we're not talking about plants okay we're talking about people now remember it says in here that the darnell grew up and it looked like you know it started to look like the wheat but they could tell it wasn't quite the same so one of the things the most high shared with me is <laughs> you know why one of, one of, of course, the main reason why they created races in the first place, because there's no really such thing as race. That was a <coughs> that was created for the purpose of what I'm going to talk about. Um, excuse me, but we are in times where everything's going fast now, and I'm going to show you how we've we've been in slavery. Try not to make this too long. I might have to do a part two. I know the last one was really long. I'm going to give you the physical slaveries that we're still in that they've hidden as, well, there's, it's not really slavery because you're getting paid in many, in some cases. However, um, it's still the mindset that they did, and like, I, like he showed me, you know, why they, so I'm going to go into it. Now, you remember in the 1800s, there were some things that happened to the United States that were kind of interesting, kind of, of um, 
historical. Now remember what Napoleon even said that history is what people decide it is. Okay. Uh, Hollywood came out with a movie called Cowboys vs. Aliens, which was a farce of what actually that was really about um, because we know who the chariots are. The Most High was already working to free us from that bondage in which our, we are, this is where the real Uncle Tom's cabin is talking about, where our own people were running our slavery. You know, I know they talked about Native Americans owning slaves. There was, if, if you actually, there's a book I read and he showed, he reminded me of this. There's a book that's called The Indian Laws that was written by George Washington and in the, uh, in the, in the, at that time, the the, uh, the Supreme Court and all those people about how you were, they were to interact with the Native Americans when the colonies were paying the states. All you got to do is read those laws and you will know that many of the Native Americans, especially the ones on the East Coast, that the one person, his name was John Adair, I believe he made a book when he said he spent 40 years with the Native Americans and he knew that they had Hebraic ways. That especially the the, the, Czech, the the Eastern Native Americans were in fact Ben Abed. Okay. How can I prove this to some of us that want to contest that? I actually, my, the most I brought to my attention that one of the people that when I grew up in the church, there was a musician. He he was um, played for us in the choir. His father was a Cherokee. His man was black. Okay. He looked like a Ben Abed. Okay. His father, he said his father had a hundred, hundred, hundred children. Um, I worked with a guy at, um, when I worked at DIA, he even showed, I had to, he had to pull out his Cherokee card because I was like, dude, what? <laughs> because he was 6'3", six, 6'4", six, about, he weighed probably about 260 or so. My brother was darker than me. And he said, yeah, my dad's a Cherokee, 100%. Um, and then uh, <clears> there's <throat> a couple I know here, and they both were in the military, and I could have sworn his wife was 100% um, Native American, and I said, but you look like a black person, light-skinned. She says, yeah, we, I know, we, we, we were black. <laughs> you know, we, she said, and, uh, and uh, you know, the, the Hopi, one of the biggest deceptions that they have, this is why I said, man, Nimrod can, can mess your mind up, okay, because the point is, wherever he sent the Calvary to take on, and this is why they even created the Buffalo Soldiers, okay, the intent was, this is the one thing that Nimrod understood, to find Jacob, you got to use Jacob, okay, let's get this through our heads now, okay, the Most High said this is a tactic that has been used for generations. And I'm, that's why I talked about the Roman slave trade, because one of the things, just like the tactic, there's, there's, there's nothing new under the sun. So the Atlantic slave trade was a replica of the Roman slave trade. Okay, I'm going to say it again. The Atlantic slave trade was a replica of the Roman slave trade. That's why, like I was actually talking, I remember my professor, she actually flunked me on a paper about this when I was talking about where the Bible came from. And she said, you have no clue. And that's why she knew that it was actually the black people that wrote it. That I'm learning that. And I didn't realize at the time. She says that the, the Europeans were shocked that when they came over to the Americas, that some of the Native Americans already had blonde hair. Time out. And then remember, they say, oh, well, it was the Vikings. Well, we know that that's not true because, for one, they were using horns. And the original Vikings, <coughs> they never put horns on their helmet. So this was the deception that was already starting to show that the Romans were running a, a form of a slave trade um, even to the Knights Templars. Uh, they were running a slave trade of the Roman. They were... They, they, they hide this history. They burn, like you said, they burn the maps because it, it, 
they don't the enemies don't want us to know who we are period okay all right so case in point there was a president in uh, Brazil he tried to burn the ships they found that were Roman ships uh, there was a they actually made a movie about this there were some Romans that went to China to try to negotiate a deal with with the emperor and to, for trading now what were they trading for I want you to stop and think who built the wall in China you want to know how they showed you this the planet of the apes the last one they said that the, the general was building a wall okay um, and they would use the, the poorest people to build it. They didn't, they, you know, and that's to tell you, <coughs> most I said nearly every nation has ever been strong. Who do, the, the slaves are in most cases, the Ben Abit, the Ben and the captivities, because they said that a lot of nations, this is why. When Messiah said he needed the disciples to go out and find the Benabetu and preach to them. The Maleki, that's why when you, if you read the book about Philip, that's why he, he vanished after he baptized the, the Ethiopia, Ethiopian. That the Maleki would pick them up and take them where they had to go. This is the power they had. Okay. Um, the, <laughs> the thing about it is the Hollywood kind of put this in your face. This is what they use so many things about Hollywood to, that people say, oh, it's just a movie. But when remember in the Superman when they kept vanishing and reappearing and they said, oh, it was a game in school and they never were good at it. You're talking about the three people who's fighting, which actually represent the mockery of our, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit when he was fighting them in the movie Superman 2. Um, that we have powers. Like that, we could, they could. That's why, in the I read the martyrdom of Bartholomew, they were saying, "Oh, we can't find him, or he would disappear." They would know he would. would they, I was reading a book about Thecla. It was Paul and Thecla, Saul and Thecla, and when she, they were trying to, even up to the point that she was in her nineties, they were trying to take her virginity away from her because she had the ability to have the, the these these powers. And in the scripture, and this is why they don't want to tell you about some of these scriptures, is the Maliki opened the opened a wall in the rock, and she went in, to, so that they couldn't. They had the whole cave surrounded. They were trying to get to her because these men wanted to take her virginity, so that they could steal. They thought they could steal your power that way. Because, but they don't understand. That's why the Most High said you got to be careful with your sex because what's happening is we have power that's being transferred into the enemy. This is one thing they hide. This is why they have so much over us because what we do on a daily basis, this is why I say slavery is not over. We transfer that energy, that power to them in the spirit world. Okay, because it's all about spirituality here. This is why they don't really teach this in, in the churches because... They make you act like you got how you feel and all this stuff. And they, they talk about having the spirit, which is, this is why one of the main reasons when and, uh, that Yanata Chilombo was talking about the preachers and how they go to the, the voodoo priestess and they get their power and all that. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're trying to steal the power away. They're helping the, the, the forces of darkness steal the most highest people's power. So when when we do things to help the enemy, we're transferring our power to their spirits. That's why the demonic realm, if you notice now why the wickedness in this world is so intense, you know, um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you again, Hollywood is slick, man. The way they showed you that was Ghostbusters. When they said the slime was running under the city, and they said the slime was getting powered by negative energy because the New York it was under New York and there was so much hatred in the city of New York and it was empowering the the, the, the evil forces. Well, yeah, the, Johnny John did a great job of explaining this: is that when you're negative, a person that's negative, you speak negative, 
you talk negative. That's why Hamashiach said, what comes out of your mouth defiles you, not what comes in. Okay? When you're speaking a lot of negativity, the devil's doing this. He's eating it up. Okay? So one of the ways, one of the ways they put us into this slavery through because we worship into the false messiah is to 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 force us to give over that power. And they use all kind of tactics like changing that's why they changed the names. That's why they won't let us they wouldn't let us sing certain songs. That's why they wouldn't let us do certain dances. That's why they wouldn't let us um do they would say it's witchcraft, okay? Because the most high said they were trying to transfer your his power to them. That's why they that's why they act like they're so enlightened and they can stand over us because and this is what was happening in every captivity, okay. You know, and only those that could stand up to them were the ones that were that really understood that. Like Elijah, he's like, um, you're worshiping the wrong dude, buddy. And I can prove it. And he stood up there and had all their priests do what he did. And he's like, if you want to worship Balaam, Baal, go ahead. If you want to worship the Most High, go ahead. And he proved it. So let's get into this real quick because I know I'm at 30 minutes, but. So when they, so quote unquote, said that slavery ended, the Civil War, I'm going to put it just out there, the Most High was already telling them, let my people go, okay? This was happening in, 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 in Africa where they were, the Europeans were dominating still, the, you know, the, 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 the slavery around the world in Asia. That was occurring. He even reminded me he got, this is why my life kind of messed up. I didn't, you know, they hide. There's a reason why they don't talk about Cambodia that often because I've, he showed me the women that I met. And one of them I, I really should have been with because um, she was really dark. Well, and then this other one, she was, I mean, she, her face was the, was the, you know how they make the planet of the apes now she was a beaut i mean she was gorgeous and i and the most i even said that one of the reasons why she was dressing the way she was dressing is that she was already being taken by older men and i'm going to get into that so she had a low image of herself in in middle school okay um she had that you know wide nose um um, bronze skin, body like she was built with muscle, you know, muscle, muscle bound little little girl. She was shorter than me, but she had, you know, that you know. I don't remember the guy told me he went to Vietnam and they were treating the black people better because they said we resembled their gods. <laughs> okay, that should tell you right there. But the the Most High says, you know, this is why we went to the Philippines and they hired that war. Okay, people forget about that war. There are some really dark skin. I mean, the one thing the most I reminded me of, remember your mistake. Okay. He said, what did, what did you do? There was a lady you, I, I, I called, I was working one day and uh, she was from Japan. I don't think she was uh, Japanese, but she looked, that's what I'm saying. Somebody, that's what I'm trying to tell you about Japan, why they bombed them is because they knew what they were bombing the Benabitu. Okay, they ain't drop them. Um, they ain't just drop this stuff on a like, random thing. Um, there was a guy, uh, and so what she what she told me was, don't ever. I called her a Philip. Are you a Filipino? And she got mad. And I'm not talking, you know, mad just like, man, what are you talking about? No, she got pissed. She said, don't ever call me that. Okay, don't ever call me that. You know, she said the Filipinos are the trash of the earth to us. They said in Japan, they use them as lap girls. Sound familiar? Okay. Um, there was a guy who did a documentary that said the Filipinos' greatest export is their women. Okay. 
If you've ever been the trip to Saudi Arabia, who's opening the door? Uh, who's cleaning the streets? That's why the Most High said we needed to really wake up and expand because he did. Uh, I remember that I know there's dark skinned people in Korea because um, hold on a sec. Um, he, sorry. He, um, how should I say this? He told a lady, <laughs> there's a lady, I went to this place and he told the lady, wow, you look like you got black in you. And she was a Korean running the store. She's, and she got hella pissed. She said, oh, no, I'm not. Because her hair, would have, she had a thickness in her hair. And she said, the guy was like, no, you, you got some black features. And she, and she was getting mad, okay? So we're everywhere because they know the difference between they, they and every place that you go, they, sorry, but they, hold on a second, let me answer this real quick. They look down upon the darker skinned people. Okay. So you know that one of the things the media is hiding from us and keeping it out of sight, I've been a bed to people. Okay. I was just to prove my point about the Japanese. I was watching. Remember the Karate Kid. And I want you to really, if you get a chance, the part two. When they were, when they went to the house to find him, and the guy was talking in English, and they called him a coward. He said, "Hey, Mr. Coward." What did that sound like? The people from the Caribbean. That shit, I, I, when I heard that, I was like, man, why he sound like he's from the Caribbean when he said that? Hey, Mr. Coward. They said it the same way in the Caribbean. I was like, I kind of went sideways, like, what the heck? Dinosaur. Okay. My son, my son, are you Daniel son? Okay. Um, when they mocked the guy in Moon Talker, saying, "You look like a goop. You look like a chink. I'm not chink. He, like a like a jap." The Wind Talkers, especially when they were talking like they were under, they said, "Oh, they talk like they're underwater." Yeah, it kind of sounds a little similar. Um, the you know the Hopi and them the sheep herders they they were sheep herding and doing that stuff before the Europeans folks you know so I'm not trying to sit here and say you know I'm not trying to to bash any one person about their perception of America but the problem is you forget who's running the show here they didn't just come to get people just because they was just coming here to do they they knew this is the land of insanity like I told you because. Eddie Murphy mocked it when he said Semi was coming to America. Um, there are Semites here that, you know, they, they enslaved people here. There were Hamites here. This You're acting like you forget that these secret society people, they interact with the demonic realm. So the demonic realm, they say, we know who you are. We know who these people are. We're marked. The Most High marked us. That's why the angels, when they see us, they don't see race. They see whatever color has been designated for non-Hebrew versus Hebrew. Okay. They know where the bloodline goes. So we can't sit there and guess where the Bantus are and where they are or where the Hebrews are, where they're not. Because now, and the one thing that people forget about slavery, the biggest part is the raping. So you could be a Levite by by the blood of your mother, but your father was, you know, a white guy that raped you, raped your grandparents. You could be a Levite by the blood of your father, but she, you know, he hooked up with a white woman because that's very common. Okay. You know, we got to get out of this, and I'm not saying anything bad. I know. We kind of speak out of anger sometimes, and most I said you gotta use you keep it cool like how much like how much she did, okay? 
He didn't just, I mean, yeah, he got ticked off with the, um, what happened at the temple, you know, and, okay, so, you know, they're, they're hiding a lot of our history that we still don't know because of the fact that, and this is why a lot of stuff is going to come out, but. When I say there's still slavery going on, I want you to look at something that's happening, okay? One of the biggest things that happened when the Most High started telling him to let his people go is he would do things. He would do earthquakes, he would do snowstorms, and in the snowstorms he would do all these different stuff. Well, the retaliation was to come back at him. That was why they sent the clan to lynch people. Um, that's why they started using our own people to... You know, do what it, this is why they started burning down churches and all this other stuff, and why they destroyed Black Black Wall Street. You know, remember the Mosai? He crashed the, the stock market in the 1800s, where they turned around and, and destroyed ours. Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Black America, they lied about our history. Of, we were self-sustaining for a long time. We were starting that, but we weren't supposed. That's why he said, "Is like you were supposed to go home." Remember the guy that was trying? I can't remember his name. But he was trying to get people to leave, and they really, he only got maybe a few people to go with him, okay? Because one of the things, like Chilombo said, once they know we're out of here, that's why they, they did Marcus Garvey and Malcolm and, Malcolm and all those. And I know Malcolm, so I learned that some of these names are actually pagan, you know, from Johnny John. But um, this is why they did what they did. You know, Malcolm told the truth, but he said to take the powder kick out of America. That didn't go very well with the Illuminati. Okay, nah, bro. Okay, don't don't tell them that because they we started packing up, we started getting ready to go. They're like, all right, let's go, and they were like, oh no, mm -mm. don't do that. And that's why they started all. Th th what happened was. That resulted in them setting up the drug trade. That resulted in them setting up the different groups, the Black Panthers, the all these different groups, okay, to keep us. Because that's why a lot of people. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm telling you, man, they put it out there for you. In, in there, read that Rex 84, read that King Alfred plan, read Global 2000. I remember there's a brother I was listening to him. I know he kind of when he. He was telling he, he was kind of telling the truth about the real the whole concept of Jesus Christ. He said, "Oh, he's not coming," but he was talking about he didn't tell the whole truth. Is that um, the Jesus Christ that you know isn't coming? It's another entity. Okay, that's why he couldn't say that because they would have killed him. Because he, you know, the Masons they don't play. You don't tell so many secrets. And so, what happened was. Whenever the so like the sinking of the Titanic, World War One, Two, okay. When Japan attacked America, you know I know white people aren't going to understand this, but this was a retaliation. This is like going to tell you who the who the slaves are, who the who the Hebrews are. It was because of what happened when America went to war. It was because of the treatment of the Hebrews. Now they're gonna sit there. The, the Masons sit there and tell you, "No, nah, we we did this because we wanted, you know, this and that." But they don't understand that, that this is where the deception lies in so many people. Is that the fallen angels still answer to the Most High? They just tell you that you got power because we're giving it to them. Okay, so when we were when we keep joining up with these groups, that's why I never understood when Elijah said that. Um, when he said that in the in apocalypse, he said that. That that our babies would be taken away from our breasts and we would suckle dragons. I, I was like, because I forget that he saw the spiritual. He could see the fake people from the real people. Okay, so he knew the dragon created the fake people. And now we're going to that why that even includes us, the tares. So what it happens is <clears throat> that when we were raising their children. That was fulfilling his prophecy. Okay. When we were raised and helping them, their children, you know, when we were in slavery and we were breastfeeding, you know, the slave master's daughter 
or, or son and, and all, they would take them and they would because if the mother couldn't give milk or whatever and we were raising them, we were the nanny okay that's why it says blessed be those who don't have can't have children in those days because they don't have to go through that which was something that was a blessing for many women that couldn't get pregnant because it was like i don't got to worry about taking care of nobody else's kids because they won't use me for that um so let's get into how slavery never ended real quick so that's whole concept. So what they would do is they would create, as the Most High kept saying, "Let my people go." They would create ways to 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 um, get back at us, just like it, just like they did before. You know, like what happened in Babylon, and every time we wouldn't bow down, look, at, they didn't bow down. You know, or they would, you know, in, in Egypt, you better do your work. You know, they make it so like if you, they would make it harder on us. So that's why they took everything. Like, like what happened, even because we weren't supposed to be set up our own livelihood. And they took it and destroyed it because they, they started bringing us into their realm. And they destroyed it through the Civil War, <clears throat> claiming we were free. Then they destroyed it even more when we joined the Masons. Okay? So, and the Illuminati, excuse me. So then what happened was, you know... They came down on us every time the Most High would do, would do something because he wanted us out of here. They would burn. They burned down Wall Street. Okay, they took our farms. Well, that's why you want to know the reason why America went into a Great Depression. Look at the 1920s when the farms got taken away from the black farmers. Okay, so that was his response because he said, "I want my people out of here." He gave the America depression because we took away the farm. They took away the farms. Okay, so it was a tip for t this has been a tip for tap thing. I said, as you know, because they're not. They keep telling them no because they understand that when we get up out of here, that's why people say, well, you can leave whatever you want. They don't understand when the Most High frees his people. The money goes with. That's why they keep talking about this whole thing about a stock market crash is coming. Okay? So, <clears throat> the, a major one worse than the 1930s. They said, oh, and they're acting like, oh, we're going to do it. No. They got to pull the money out. When the most high comes to pick us up, that's why they're trying to, that's why they're really working overtime. And that was why the whole agenda was actually in, incorporated into this. They had already decided when they created these sports sports things that the whole intent was to keep us out of them. And so we started with, so it was all this thing about this mindset that it was called, it's called psychology, it's called brainwashing. Uh, we keep them out of it, they'll want, they'll never, and then we bring them in, they'll never want to get out of it. Okay? But they knew that the public, you know, it was all about public perception and that, you know, they would, that's why they turned Jackie Robinson, you got to do have thick skin. Well, they knew he, you know, a lot of things that they did, it, it was, it was, it was orchestrated. Okay. Because this was their way. Really what was happening was we weren't supposed to be joining in. Like it says in the scriptures, we're not supposed to be learning their ways. So this is why we endured the, the, the when we wanted to go in the military, we wanted to do all this stuff. The most I said, you're not supposed to learn the way of the oppressor. Okay. Well, this is why we endured all that negativity because we we had to get in it, and that's why they were like, "Oh, this nigga don't belong in baseball and, foo and football." I said the B word, but forgive me. You know, and that, I'm gonna get to that too in a minute. The slavery part of the English language because they they attach one of the things that they that why they changed our language is it was going to attach the demonic to us because there's demonic words in the English language and a lot of the things that they know this. So that's what, that's part of the dumbing down process. So back to how slavery didn't end. If you look at prostitution, if you look at human trafficking, drug trafficking, all these different things, the porn, I mean, big man, you know, and I feel bad about this because it was an addiction for me. There's a lot of bad to black people in the porn industry. And they literally, I mean, this, the sad part about it is, you know, they set up all these scenarios now where you got, 
multiple white men on a black woman, multiple black women on a white woman. They do they doing this for a reason. Okay. They they got that that is the, that is slavery. Okay? But they say, oh well they're getting paid for it and it's their right. The my, again, right here. Sin is sin. Okay, you what is what did I tell you? When you sin, you are the slave of sin. That's what slavery is. Okay? The the whole concept of slavery is when you own somebody, even though I know people say, well, the Marvel side. He said, he, the reason why he set up those rules about slavery was not to make people slaves, but he knew that you were going to make people slaves. So he said, you need to treat them right and make sure that they let them be set free after a certain time. Okay? And that's the whole, you know, a lot of the rules that he set up for us was because he knew ahead of the time that we were going to do something. We were going to have sex without marriage. We were going to do all these different things. So the law, statutes, and commandments were set up to keep us guided. That's why Hamasiah said you were hard-headed because you needed a structure because we were doing whatever through the false messiah. Remember, he was all the all the worship that they do. That's why he said they still have order among them. They don't just go buck wild all the time. They still have to have their structure because the devil knows that he has to still maintain a deception. Okay, so they still make it. They they have still have the rules, howbeit they think that it's applying to the Most High's rules and it's not. Okay, so the whole slavery concept that we're dealing with today, and this is the, the dark hole. Okay, so when we talk about the plantation, what they did is they just moved the plantation out of the United States. So if you go to certain, I mean, this they don't talk. This is why. They set up a lot of these um, puppet governments around the world. Okay, don't think this is a real. They, they, the biggest lie that they've told us: there's no longer any more countries. They just do that to keep to keep control. Because if you tell people the United States is not a country anymore, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to go ballistic. What? If you tell people Canada is not a country anymore, you're going to say what? Mexico is not a country anymore. They have the Ten Kingdoms already set up. The false messiah has been working. See, that's what people say. That whole thing about the lion. Okay? The devil attacks us like a lion. He, he, the, devil, the lion's about stealth, man. They do things secret. That's why it's called a hidden hand in, the, in, their, in their thing. Mockery of the messiah where he said, don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. So they mock it. They say, okay, so we'll hide the hand. You won't see. We'll look like you. That's why terrorists come into play. So we have Hebrews. Now remember, they can't. The sad part about this is remember who the gods were, that who the angels are, that fell. What 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 real color they are? So don't sit there. You know we're gonna sit there and we're gonna blame Whitey all the time. Whitey is in secret. I even talked to a lady who unfortunately, is into the Egyptian side. And she said, they worshiping us in secret because they, and that's why she tried to tell me they're pulling you away from your gods and they're really, but she's worshiping the fallen angel side. And she don't know that because that's how deceptive they are. Okay. The, the real hierarchy people know that the angels are dark skin. Lucifer was the only one that's why he was so, they call him the beautiful. Um, they won't put Enoch in the scriptures because of the, of the description of what they said about Noah and what Lamech said. That's why they try to attack like, oh, that book is, is trash, you know, blah, blah. it's not true. Because it, it just, it, it tells you the Isle of the Gentiles was Atlantis, where they were making clones. They were doing all these different things. That's why he, when, when he took the continent and ripped them apart, he sunk it because there was all wickedness going on. That's why he said this is the beginning of what they're going to do. So he had to, and he said, no, we, I got to get my people started. He had to get Abana. He had to, he had to make that line to get his people started. And that's why he had to set up the heads around us. And we were a people that was, that was not a part of all of this. And they told us, don't, that's why he said, don't even entertain their gods. Don't even say their names. Don't even touch anything unclean. 
Because you know what these people are doing. That's why he said that the devil laid the Gentiles low. Because he by them worshiping his stuff, you know, and that's why they can't even see what's really going on. That every president is related through the lineage. They doing it the same way, just like the pharaohs. You know, you think you're electing somebody. They ain't electing nobody. You don't just put Joe Blow off the street into the White House. No, you got to be in the system. Okay? But they make you believe anybody can be a president. Look, see, we made Obama. Obama's a descendant of Nimrod. That's why he said, I'm Nimrod. And he, they say that. And he started joking that they say, I'm going to bring about the apocalypse. And he started laughing. And, and people were calling him the Antichrist. And you know, they said, and, 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 and they were, that was whole making the black people mad, you know. How you dare call a black president? And that's why the most I say, whoa. Your whole system is fake. You think, that's why he said, you know, the, oh, the God blesses America. Yeah, there's a God that blesses America, okay? But the point, you can't expect, because they've, 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 they, that's why they had to deceive you who the real Hebrews are. Because if you knew who the real Hebrews are, you realize this country is cursed. That's why you got flooding, hurricane, tornado. Like the most I, he reminded me of the picture I saw when Hamashiach had the, the tornado spinning in, in Manitou Spring. And it, you couldn't Photoshop that in 1983, folks. When you see the robe in the tornado spinning, shh, because that, that place is known for so much satanic worship. Okay? They put the, uh, you want to know why we had the major hailstorms? On the southern end of, the, of Colorado Springs, people. Was, I watched the car. The hell was going through the. Uh, it went through people's cars. It was. It, it broke out windows. People. My neighbor up the street. She worked up there. She said I was crying. I thought I was gonna die. I jumped into my back of my car and I thought I was a dead woman. She was freaky. She couldn't believe that she was spared that day. I had just missed it. I was coaching up there. And I was like, the most, something happened when I was going to be running late. And now I want to know why, because he didn't want me to be a part of that. My car would have been demolished coming through there. I saw the, the uh, look, everybody said it looked like a war zone. Okay. You know why? You know what they did? They put two obelisks in downtown Colorado Springs. What do you think that meant? Boy, the most I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You're going to keep throwing it in my face. Okay. That's why they keep coming about these bomb cyclones and all this stuff. Man, we are so blind. The most high is all 9-11. People are talking about older oh, conspiracy. I'm going to tell you right now, but so many people don't understand. Nothing goes down on this place without his say-so. He took those buildings down. He took the Pentagon down. Okay. They're going to tell you, oh, the Masons, they hit their own building. It was up. No, no, no. That's the deceiver talking to them. Like I had a, man, this dude, I, I kid you not, when I was, he was mad because I was, I was comparing the satanic star to the Masonic star. He said, they're not the same. And he put this whole thing and, and read it. I said, man, if you're deceiving the whole world, then what makes you think you're not being deceived? Silence. He couldn't even answer that question. Because the concept of, of us is that we don't get it. Okay, that's why Yakanan said he deceived the whole world. Where people are telling me he don't even exist. That's not even a real. I said, the name that you're talking about was never his name. Yes, we know this. That's what this means, accuser. That's why you really can't cast him out with that name. That's a, that, the, the deception of Christianity. You got to. Man, I'm telling you. Why do you think in those movies they tell the demon, tell me your name? The only way to cast out anybody 
is to know who you're talking. That's why they don't put the, the that's why they won't put Solomon in the main Bible. Because he's talking to the he had the ring. He said, I want tell me who you are. And they had to explain themselves and what they did is they were laying the fountain. He was making them build the temple. Okay, that's the control you have when you have Ruach, the Ruach, forgive me for using the Yiddish. The, when you have Ruach, you can command the demon to do what you want it to do. That's why they don't want you out there knowing the, the true Holy Spirit like you think you know because you'll see them. That's why, like me, man, I'm in here in America. Eyes wide open now. They're not wide shut no more. Like the boy, one man was talking about in the movie with these rituals going on. They're wide open. That's what they don't want. Because now it's like, oh, oh, wait a minute. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Man, he over there. Now I see him. And then people will tell you, oh, you're crazy. You see, and then people are, oh my gosh, I see demons. Well, they freak out because those people don't understand that you have nothing to be afraid of. Because you have the authority. But you you act like you don't you don't get it. That's why when I was my, my I had people say they were panicking and they saw it. The ladies, and I, I, and I don't, and I love. What Carrie Ann, and I know she even said that she she was sorry for when she saw one that she shouldn't have been afraid. Man, I had the devil had his hands around my throat, y'all. Sleep in my sleep. My wife told me what what were you, what happened? What were you doing? I said I was fighting the devil. Man, I almost broke my hand. I came out of my sleep twice. It's happened to me twice, y'all. Okay, that Joker is. My ex-wife told me, this is how we are enslaved. When we, why do you think they, they, part, they put the negative spirits into the witches? My wife, my ex-wife said, literally, that joker would show up. And a, she see the shadow on the wall. That's how I know y'all keep watching that, <clears throat> that Jurassic Park and all this stuff. Y'all worshiping Satan. You keep putting dinosaur. I, I, so I was like, I'll, I'll never forget my trip to hell to, to that, that realm. I don't feel comfortable going into no museum of natural history, y'all. Now, I'm saying, I'm saying I'm afraid of it. It's just the, the, the remembrance. Them things, they, they, they jacking you up on the other side. Because he created, those are un, that's an unclean beast. They made the T-Rex in his image, and you... They even showed you that in the last Jurassic Park, the world when he, the lion and the and the and the, and the T Rex was roaring at each other, and they tried to make you think, well, I, this is my kingdom now. I'm the king of the jungle. That's not what they were trying to show you with that. Hamashiach was the lion, the T Rex was the devil. He said, we're getting ready to battle. Okay. Then they mocked it again with King Kong and the lizard. He was fighting the serpent. They said, oh, you're gonna call up the the one that. It's really, you don't want to call up the big one. Yeah, they're talking about him. And they're mocking King Kong with, with as Isaiah. That's why they were battling, okay? Showing you that battle. You know, and, and the thing about it, the, the way we, they put us back into slavery, the plantation, they got, they brought, the United States of America is funding secretly all of these drug cartels, all of these um, plantations down in South Af South America, Africa. This boy, this guy put up an image that they got the United States military got Africa surrounded with all these bases they set up. Wait a minute, they're not going to look bad because we had slaves. They don't care. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> I've always told my wife, you know, they talk about human trafficking and they always look at the bad guy that's doing it. And I'm like, who's paying them? You got to have money to do that. Who's paying them? Okay, think about the rituals that y'all know about. How do they get the people to the rituals? 
the clan has a there's a guy who said the clan and the, and the biker people you look at it this one dude said the one guy said he was talking he was, and it, it was it was on his youtube you can i don't know if it's still there he's a preacher talking to a mason he's a black guy and uh hebrew you know and his 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 thing kept going out that's why he talked about the dinosaurs in, in florida and next thing you know <laughs> Remember that big freeze that showed up in Florida and, and it said the iguanas were falling on the ground and it was like, they were falling everywhere. Well, yeah, they, they had to subdue them suckers. They had to move them out because people were trying to fight. When that, when that came out, people were like, we want to see the dinosaurs. Where are they? They were like, oh, snap. They know. They had to get them out. Of, they, had to, they had to get them, you know, they had to move them. Because the thing about it, they know they're not extinct, y'all. You know, they, they're trying to bring the truth back in, but it got overwhelming. They're like, oh, we heard you guys got dinosaurs in Disney World. Where they at? The real ones. Y'all think that some of these movies they're putting out there, the reason why they got to do the how they made it, <laughs> this going to get y'all. The reason why they got to do the session of how they made the movie. In many of these cases, is because that some of that stuff that they're doing is actually real stuff, but they can't tell you that. So when they sitting in in the Jurassic World, like man, look at man, look at them big doggers. They got to come out with, oh, we use traded and we use this and we use that, not realizing that some of that footage y'all was real. But the act, that's why you got to sign the disclosure when you become an extra. I was never in it because I ain't got no money. You got to sign a disclosure because they're going to do some stuff in there that they don't want you to talk about. And if you get, if you talk about it, you're going to be dead. Okay. They know this. Hollywood is very deceptive. Man. Okay. The next thing about this whole concept of slavery is the sports industry. Now they're gonna say, man, these people making millions of dollars, they they cool with it. I, I told you in the previous video, I talked to a guy that played in it, and it's like the minute you don't play no more, they they gonna replace you. The minute you get hurt, you, the, the, the the players that got shot, you know, the person that the, the one for the Patriots, bruh. The they know they gotta go through the, they wear the Masonic ring too. They gotta go through the rituals. That, where's the freedom in that? And I'm going to tell you why they did it is because the Most High keeps telling them, let my people go. This is their answer. They make life harder on us. That's why you see the jobs getting more intense. Why people looking like, oh, I'm going to get fired today. Why they don't, why they like it when they show up to work acting stupid and crazy. Because then they like, oh, see, they ain't worth a damn. We already know. That's why they got you on the TV. You think that, you know, the, the most I'm saying that those those people that do those rap videos where the woman is jiggling and dancing. Okay, that's on purpose. Because the devil is coming for your kids. And the targeted audience that people don't even realize, you know, the, the Christians are gonna say, Oh, my my kids watching, they got the white, the white people, you know, they're like, oh, we don't want we what it's doing. And they don't even understand it. They're cursing us. So oh, look at them, them niggas. Look how they dance and they look violent. They don't even know who they're talking bad about. What does the Most High say? When you talk, when you touch His anointed, bad things happen to you. Why do you think? You know, the people say the curses and all that. You give. They gave us. They gave us the drugs, tip for tap. Now they got an opioid crisis. Because the whole concept of giving us the drugs was to keep us mentally locked into the fact that we're supposed to be out of here. Okay, and, and the sad part about it, I've talked to Moors. You know, they're they're I, I know that this is not a real country, that the first president was black. Okay, it was a Moor because Nimrod is gonna put his people on top. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to put it out there. The, the, the Hamites, they got to they gotta play 
like they the low people. But the Hamites are running the show, y'all. Now you know. The Hamites still running the show. Because them, that's his people. Okay. They got to play like, that's why you find some, some tribe that still get left the way they are. They, they don't touch them. They still get to wear their, their, their stuff and pierce their nose and all this stuff. And they come in and, oh, go see these people and, and talk to them and learn this and how they did. They're the ones that's portraying the image of Africa as Africans because they run in the show. Okay. And, on, and the sad part about it is, so are some of us. You know, if you stop and think about these black churches, the preacher's still black. He's still a Benabetu, ben but he's a Mason. He's a part of the Boule. Because the concept is, that's why Martin Luther King was like, we need to be equal. We need to be, you know, he was like, we want a place at the counter. That's why they did the lunch. We want to be equal to eat with y'all too. And the most I said, you're stupid to, that's why he was like, man. You still listen to that thing about you are equal. When I'm created a set apart people and you thinking there's no, no people they got over there talking about Israel. And then they want to tell you you're bashing Israel to be anti-Semitic. Nimrod ain't stupid. And that's what these, uh, they, a lot of these Christians don't understand. The false messiah is not an idiot. He knows how to play the game very well. That's why he looked just like the real Messiah so well. He can walk on the water. He can act like he's healing people. And, and to raise the dead, which he cannot do, cloning. That's what I'm going to get into. Um, Eddie, uh, there was a story that came out about what happened to uh, Bernie Mac when he had the heart attack. And it was saying that it was Steve Harvey that was a part of that. And the reason being is because they were abusing a black clone boy. And he said, we got to tell people about this. This isn't right. And they said, oh, no, we can't tell nobody about that. So that's why I'm trying to tell you that the rabbit hole goes so deep. And this is why it comes into the tears, the wheat and the tear. The devil is taking his people and copying us to make us look like us. In addition to what happened on Atlantis. The so-called that they always talk about the caveman. They think black people black people man. Whoo! You know, and that's the thing about it is that there are so many things around this earth that resemble the, the Hebrew people around the world. That's why you know, people tell me, well, it's a stretch to say about the Native American. I said, you got non-Hebrew affiliated Native Americans that say, we already know. We know who we are. We can't say it out loud. Like the lady that I met down, see, there's a lady I met in the, in the Caribbean, not even affiliated with any Hebrew affiliation whatsoever, that was given, they give out the tours of the, of the history of, of, of Olympia. They even showed, an, it's on the island of Curacao, and they show where the Romans and the, and the Jews were separated. They had their own, uh, um, they even had their own, um, uh, what do you call it, um, cemeteries. You remember, how, and, and then one of the dudes that they, like, like Issachar did this, one of those people that's buried there had the 120 something seven slave ships. Okay? So, and my dad, my, my dad's from the Caribbean. He already, he said, I already know that the, the Native Americans that were here were black. He knows this. They were dark skinned. As a matter of fact, I talked to him more. And he said that the thing that people don't understand about the, the crappy story about Columbus is when they got here, that whole thing about 1492 was a rouge. The Moors were running the show before that. 
That's why you'll get them telling us, man, we didn't come from no slave ship. We were already here. Yeah, some of the, the Hamites and some of the Ben. Remember, I told you there was a Roman slave trade. Okay, there was a Roman slave trade. So some of the Ben too, yes, they were here. That's why you get people say, you know, this guy laughed. This guy I talked to me, the Jewish guy, he laughed at me about the rock in New Mexico, claiming that it was. That's why. You know, Chilombo said about the, the, the what they call the um, Paleo Hebrew. You know that they, that the the camps are, are promoting. He's like, man, that you know, I, I kind of thought he was telling the truth. He said that's a form of ancient Latin. I studied this that they have on that rock, but yet what they were saying is, and now I know, now I kind of understand what he was saying. Why they're trying to say it's Hebrew. Is because they don't want you to know they were already over here. The ain't it was ancient, it was similar, it was a version of it, okay. But that's why he, he was laughing because I know what Paleo Hebrew looks like, which of course they mock it. Okay. That rock on New Mexico, they don't want you to know. But he was trying to tell me the truth in a certain way. That he's not realizing that he actually tipped off, tipped off the lie that the Romans were already over here, and that was an ancient Latin form of writing. But they call it Paleo Hebrew, so you think it was not them, but it was a form of our Hebrew because these were the slaves that were writing in it, in their language. It actually said the translation of the rock says. Heart of Mali. <laughs> Where do you know about that? When I looked it up, when he wrote it, when he translated it in his writing, he was laughing about it. But the most he keep laughing because the problem is he don't even know that that was still written by Hebrews. But they were writing. We were writing in their language. Okay, we were doing their. It's. It's a whole deception, for folks. The devil gonna hide things. Yes, I, I I understand that you know people what they say in Africa would never happen. When they take you on that slave ship, they don't care if you were Levi, Judah, Asher, whatever. You still getting buck broke. You still getting your wife raped. You still going to do what we say. We signed the treaty. That's why the most I said, when you sign that, that's why he got to break it. He said, that's why he said they, they, they broke the treaty. He sent them. That's why he said, y'all weren't supposed to kill my people like that. That's why it's over. That's why he said, let them go. But they won't. He said, I didn't give you permission to do that. And they said, we don't care. We're going to do it anyway. That's why he said they're going to do more than I ask in the scripture. That's why he keep doing what he's doing, you know, and they hiding it. They claim, they claim weather. They claim, that's why they had to create the idea of weather patterns and, and, oh, it's scientific and all this other stuff. The scientists don't even know that they're being bamboozled, man. They don't even know because they teach them that. I, I sat in a class in college where the man even said the Vietnam War, I, I met a guy. Okay, he said he was standing in Laos, chilling, watch, watching the CIA take planes out of there. So what would, I talked to a dude that was from Vietnam. He said flat out, they took everything. What does that sound like to you? Okay, why, why do you think the, the French were even there? They Y'all gotta get it, man. I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking anybody right here. I'm just trying to tell you. When you're praying and fasting, like I know Chalomo said, he's coming for the Americas. I love the fact that he did that. Messiah, a man, I'm been truly blessed with with what you say. And I hope you get to hear this. Um, the things that you talk about, like you say, we're lost in Africa too, but man. If you think you lost in Africa, how lost do you think we are in the other nations? They, they took us that, man, 
they took us down a rabbit hole so deep. That's why it's so hard for us to decipher what the heck we're supposed to be talking about. Like you said, Jonathan, that the devil's ahead of the awakening. So they, they, they start, they did exactly like what happened with the nation of Islam. They did the same thing. Malcolm came out and said, we're the real Hebrews. So then why are you a Muslim? But join the nation of Islam. Now how confusing is that? If we're the real people of the Bible, there was no Islam before that. I talked to people that's Islam. Man, this lady, she's from Ghana. She was from Ghana. Man, she built thick black, like thick, big booty, everything. Muslim. Look just like my mama. Like the like like the like the Caribbean folks. I'm like, and as I'm going to my church, I said, "How y'all think you worship?" Oh, I told her, I said, her name is Aliyah. I told her what that really means in the in the Hebrew. She's like, "Oh no, I have nothing to do with that." Brainwashing people, it goes so deep. You know, they taking, you hear about, now you're hearing about little kids. You, you want to know why all of a sudden you're finding black children with body parts missing that they finally putting the truth out there in front of you. They've been stealing, they've been stealing from us since they were doing the syphilis uh, things. Giving us syphilis to make us see what it would do. That was a revenge tactic because the most high said, let my people go. Okay. You want to know why they're giving you AIDS and why they're giving you Ebola? Ebola, is the most, the most I said, man, you don't understand these angels at all. The wicked, the ones that fell, are going to give them the knowledge of what to do. But you're going to believe it. Says it right there. I had, let me tell you how they try to, to brainwash you. I had a Catholic priest went in his office talking to him. Man, he, he, he went so far as to defend the devil by saying that he don't have foresight. When I told him that he had a hand in destroying Egypt, he said, oh, well, he, he made his comment, oh, the Romans had already done it. I said, Bruh, who controls the Romans? But they don't want to say that because they know the Roman Empire before Catholicism was controlled by who? So, of course, he destroyed Egypt. And then on top of that, he's going to tell me when I said that the angels fell, oh, we don't have any proof of that. We never even found out they had any children. Really? So then why in the world did you put it in the scriptures then? That's your Bible. This dude is an old priest, man. That's why anybody tell me anything about that. Even this dude I know that I'm, that I'm against the cap. Look here, man. They Don't people sit. My wife told me flat out because she was raised a Catholic. This is how you can tell they know the Hebrew from the non-Hebrew, y'all. They wouldn't even give them. Remember when they said that they, we weren't allowed to leave to give us a slave Bible? They wouldn't even. My, when my life lived here, in this place that Most High said his people were congregated at one time, the, the priest wouldn't even give them a Bible to read. All they did. She went to the, um, her, some of our family are still trapped in it. They went to a quinceanera. They, she went into the tent. She, I didn't go because I didn't want to be a part of that. She went because I know it, it was her. She went, she, we had to present the gift. They chose, I, did, I didn't want to do that. But, you know, unfortunately, this is part of that process of pulling away. I, I'm pulled away, but not everybody is. You know, and... <laughs> 
Because she got one foot in. I guess I told her, so you better get both feet out pretty soon. Because it's not going to, it's going to be better get out. And, and, you know, she still want, at the most, she don't want to be, she going to think that if I tear away from the family, they won't think I'm, she's, I'm crazy and all this. I said, read your, they don't read this word, man. He said that he would be doing that. Okay. Now, that's the mental, that's the mental slavery I'm talking about. When she felt that she still had to contribute to the to the quinceanera. And she went up in there and she said, where the books at? The Catholic Church has already been extracting the word from their people. They're not even putting the scriptures in the church anymore because the truth is starting. They're thinking that because, you know, with everything that's going on with all the scandals that there's too much truth coming out. Because they don't want their parishioners reading, start reading, thumbing through. What I heard about this? Let me find it. Do you think that is a coincidence? You know, just to prove my point that there's still a, a physical slavery, and this is a dark moment in my life. I'm not. And I, I forgive. I pray the Most High will forgive me. Okay. I was foolish enough to get involved. You know, and I'm confessing it. I'm not going to say because remember, everybody sins. Okay, and I, I'm getting this off my chest because it was wrong. I engaged with a woman that I shouldn't have. Okay. Now I'm not going to specify anything. You know what details or whatever and one of the things that this lady told me she said that she has interactions with clergy and ironically it was a darker skinned woman okay what man I'm telling you okay The Most High has saved me from a great deal of, of, of wickedness. Like, like Issachar said, we got to break the spirit of lust in our people. And I pray, I, I pray, thank God the Most High showed me that. Okay. The majority of your, you know, you've heard of the escort business. Okay. Unfortunately, the majority of the escort business is the darker skinned people. When you see those, these people can go up and pay for the type of woman they want, they can pick them out. They showed you this on, on in the movies. That is real. This is payback for the Most High saying, "Let his people go." Okay. You know, we, this country has made a lot of, that's why, you know, when you sit there and you say, you know, how can we handle it over here, is we we, we, we try to keep the fact of hope of a better, that's why they, they, they conditioned us with this concept of hope of a better life, that things will get better. That's why they sing the song. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Okay? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Okay, why do they sing that? Why do they sing that song so much? And they're trying to show us. We have someone ready to do something. That's been doing something. He's just trying to tell us, wake up. I'm already doing the, 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 the Exodus stuff. You know, my, I remember he, he, my, we went on a, on a road trip when I was younger. And my dad said, um, there was an infestation of frogs in Kansas one time. He said he remembered because he had gone there. They, they got places where the, the, the frogs show up all over the place. This has been going on for a while now. They, they blame it on, what, does this sound familiar? 
They blame it on the water rising, the floods that they get from time to time. Wow. Sound familiar to me? Um, the infestation of flies in some places. Oh, the frogs died. Now they got flies everywhere. Folks, the flooding that happened, they, they, and I know they're not addressing it. All that flooding in Louisiana, Texas, you think they're not inundated with bugs right now? Everywhere. Okay? They know, but they're not going to make it a big deal around the world because then it's going to be like, oh, we see it. He bringing the play. The locusts attack in Vegas and also in Mecca and all these different, in, in Russia. Okay? This is why they, they, they made that movie Us and there's a reason why they picked the family that was black. Okay? We have, they, there was a movie that Bruce Willis made called Surrogates. And remember, the leader of the of the movement was this mechanical black man. He said, "Come to this, representing the false messiah." Okay, that's why the most I say, I already, man, y'all don't see it. I'm already battling these dudes. They know. I'm already asking for people to come out. He said, I put the spirit of Masa in a lot of people. In different generations, they were telling them, let's go. They said, no, don't, don't you go. Don't go nowhere. That's why you have a lot of a movement for black people saying America. When I know Issachar was saying that he has a problem with saying that the most high land is America. Well, they're putting this notion in out of our heads, and the Moors are part of this. We were already here, so this is our land. Well, they know that, but that was part of the plan, too. He said, don't give up your land to these people. It's our, this is our land. We were already here. Yeah, the Hamites and the Shemites, they were here. That's why the most I said... Everybody knew the difference between Hamite, Shemite, Japhethite, and Yusulele. Yusulele was different than everybody else. That's why, man, y'all really got to learn history about Native Americans. There was no equality among Native Americans. That's why if you ever hear about, read about Cahokia, they took those people to build it. That's why they... They had the slave quarters a thousand years ago. Cahokia was a place that they built up with the mounds they call in Missouri. Okay. You want to know why the cliff dwelling people had to go run and build on. They had people building. You kind of you see it here in Colorado. They got people living in cliff. I went down in one. The most I said, your people were living here because they were chasing them. We had to climb, man, I remember had to climb out like, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm so high up. Went over in Mesa Verde. Okay. It was like, when you look at the structure of how they built it, it was like, wow. These are some intelligent people that did this. How they they structured everything and how they built, but it was you know it was smaller people like the pygmies. Hello, sound familiar? You know, and and that's what I'm saying is we we got to come together and stop all the arguing because that is all. The, the Most High knows the devil's plan is to divide and conquer and to spread different me mentalities of the truth. 
I'm not saying that, you know, like you say, we prophesying part, revealing part. He's putting all the parts. Now we're putting all the parts together. I heard that side of the world. Now I hear this side of the world. You know, it's not even a side because we live on a bumangala. Okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, a lot of people want to say I'm crazy, but they already showed you. You see ice at the North Pole. You, you feel the cold of the ice. It's not ice. That's why they, when they lift that veil up, people are going to be like, whoa. They, big, big time. That's why the most I said, get out of this garbage of trying to, you know, because <clears throat> the devil wants to keep you blinded by what the spirit doesn't allow you to see if you're not totally locked in. Like Shalom said, yeah, people, I said, this is what we know. I told my wife that I know that there's people that can do what you say they can do. That's why they keep it a secret. That's why I try to tell somebody the other day, you know, if you, I put it on Twitter, I said, the most I revealed it. If you got the Holy Spirit, the military going to be at your door. That's why you, they, they, they laugh when they come in these churches and people start clapping. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. And oh, no, no. They're like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> no, if, the, if you had the Holy Ghost, we would have you in interrogation somewhere. Because we want to know what you intend to do. Okay. You're going to knock down our planes. You're going to do, you know, what, what you going to do? Because the angels, you don't understand, the angels come, you manipulate, like Tolombo says, you manipulate things. You think they want the doctors to see you coming in their, in their hospital, laying hands on people saying, be healed. They don't want that here. Not in, not in this place. Does that mean miracles don't happen? Yeah, they do. But I guarantee you, man, that's why you better, once it's done, you better get ghosts. Or you better hope that, like you say, you be put a hedge around me because, you know, that, now that I know how to do the demon thing, you think they want people to know that? That you can't say, get behind me, S-A-T-A-N like that, like they say? You got to know names. That's why the most I, you know, do my revelation. He gave me that demon of, of lust name. Now tell him to leave. And this is the name you use. And I haven't, I mean, yeah, does he still try to attack me? You better believe it. They don't stop. Because I, the, the point is, they, they, this is how ignorant many of us are. We're surrounded by them. Any, you walk in anybody's house, you walk in anybody in, in the mall. They everywhere. When they the people don't understand when they, when they got casted out, they went to different places. Okay. The, they running. The plantation owner is now the drug cartel leader. Okay. If you ever watched that movie, that movie where it was Sicario, the, the dude showed up. He was like, "I'm here to kill you." He like, bro. The same people that sent you to kill me is the same people that set me up right here. Hello. He said, "Where do you think we got it from?" You see, and the sad part about it is they don't see you killing Jacob and you're your cooler. 
because they want to be because they they got us in that mindset. I gotta have mine. I gotta make my money. I gotta get paid. I gotta have dollars. You know, strutting around with the, the, the nice suit, walking around like I'm somebody. And they just and that's where the, the term monkey suit came from. It the, the, that stuff enslaved that they did the same thing. Come up here with us. That's why they call the Uncle Tom. Put on that nice suit, looking all d dapper, debonair, looking sharp, all around. <laughs> you just hear him in that suit, laughing. We, we, we got them. That's the game they playing, y'all. That's the game they playing. And what you don't understand is those of us that love to see us in a better light, you're calling us crazy. You're calling us stupid. You're saying that there's something wrong with you. You you got the devil. I'm here exposing. This is like Muhammad Shia said. I'm exposing the devil to you, and you calling me that I'm doing things by the devil. That's why he laughing like. <laughs> I got y'all. That's why they throw the signs up when they're talking. We got them. You think. <laughs> Man, Trump just loved those black people supporting him. <laughs> and he loved it when they see the Democrats, black people talk. I hate Trump. That's why that's why that whole scenario right there, Democrat black versus Republican black, is the is revenge. These are the most highest people. <laughs> Look at them. They fight, they, they want to go, they, they go on the blows. The Crips and the Bloods, y'all. The, the game bangers. You know why they did that? Revenge against the Most High. Look at them, they all they, shooting at each other on the streets that they don't even own. <laughs> Cube came out with a, a song that said, you're doing, remember that part he started off with the clan? So that was his part of telling the truth. We'd like to thank y'all for your support of killing one another. When he had that in his video, in his song. He was trying to tell you the truth a little bit. That's why he got himself in the hot water some, with some of that stuff, man. Because he was waking people up too much. That whole East Coast, West Coast crap, man. I watched the Tupac story. Did you see who promoted him when he walked into their office? Ashkenazi. You don't think Biggie Smalls Ashkenazi? Y'all don't y'all don't get it, man. That's why they want to come at us and say we're being anti-Semitic. Because them Semitic people are the one making the point, making the porn industry. They don't give it the, the the everybody else that's not the Most High's people. They call them the Goyim. You don't know what that means in Yiddish. It means sheep. That's why they sit there up there laughing in their in their nice penthouses and everything, looking down at y'all like. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> they think they're really doing something. Laughing. Having a good old time. And the sad part about it, while they're sitting there laughing, the devil laughing at them. <laughs> Both sides of the coin. Y'all don't get it, man. I got you and them.
But the, the, but the last tee he he as they say, is going to be with the most high. I said, look, you th that's why he looked at him like, you think you're doing something. I got this. That's why he said, vengeance is mine. But what did they do when the vengeance? It's like the Pharaoh. Y'all don't get it. When the most high show up and blast them with something, that's why they bombed. That's why them nukes went off in Japan, y'all. Point blank right there. That's why they went into Cuba. Yakuba. Okay, they know where we're at, y'all. But to see that the whole concept behind this is we need to come together as a people. That's why it, it right, right there in black and white in the King Alfred plan, it says, do not allow black folks to come together. So they infiltrate. Rex 84, same damn thing. They included the Hispanics in there. Why do you think they did that? They know where Yakuba is. Because they know Yakuba got... The, oh, who built in the wall? Who's building Trump's wall? Who are the workers? We really need to understand, people. They know the difference between Hamite, Shemite, Japhethite, white. I say that different because we know what the truth about white people. They just they already done told you white people in, in a thing. Y'all are cavemen. With how that happened is you gonna have to discuss that with the Most High. But that's why he said, you know. Esau sitting right here and Yakuba. That's why he said, man, they don't really be afraid of no false messiah. He got his head taken off by your grandfather. Okay? We, we need to understand that the Most High uses everybody for his for his thing, like he said. He using, that's why he, he hard, like you say, he hardened the heart of these pharaohs. Part of that reason is we still clowning around, doing what they say, playing fetching and stepping, cooning them. They kind of call it cooning and buffooning. Why you think there's a there's a there's a gift there's a, a GIS? That's why he got. I haven't heard much from him lately, but um, most deaf. He made this little gap where he showed the monkey dancing like this. The gorilla sitting there in the face, and that, that was his way of telling you the truth that we're nothing but the dancing gorillas, the singing gorillas, the uh, basketball playing gorillas. That's why it's called the Planet of the Apes. To them, they they when they look when when those jokers see us, they see ape. That's why they mocked it when they said, "See, they said ape shall not kill ape." That whole commandment, white folks. Now, I'm not saying that we, we don't apply it here, but that whole commandment was meant for Yakuba, Yusolele. That's why the set of the, the people who are chosen, that's why he looking at us like, man, y'all over here shooting. That's why they they putting it. I mean, I know they're going to say, well, you, you're talking against people that served your great nation. Oh. Let me y'all even get my, my cousin worked in the Pentagon, y'all. That's why I asked him a question about the planes that they said were flying over saying they were C-140s. No comment. When they said that when it wasn't no uh, alien, it was C-140s. I've been to his base when he retired. I know what they look like, y'all. I'm like, that ain't no C-140 nothing. They don't fly like that. Okay, the underground bases like they, the us. <laughs> the man said it's underground stuff that you don't even know about. That's why the people came out. He had to do it in a version to tell you. We're cloning people, man. But the lady said in the video, if you can clone a sheep, you can clone a person. 
Because the, the false messiah, when he get ready to put, to put himself on the, on the scene, to prove that he's Messiah, he got to raise up the dead. You're going to be looking like, my grandmama? My grandpapa? My auntie? You think he ain't ready for that? That's why they can't say nothing about the clones, people. Because it's part of the plan. The false messiah got it. That's why he said he will deceive even the elect. Okay. They showed you that with that movie, the, the television show they made about that, people coming back. You gotta understand that there is an there is a the most high saying, he's looking at it like, I'm already trying to pull y'all out of here. To give you your reparation, your, your, your funds. But you, they made it, the, the biggest thing they ever did to keep us where, keep us put is to start signing them million dollar contracts. Man, I'm making millions of dollars here, man. I'm, where do I want to go? I'm chilling. I got my nice car. I got my big house. Look at all these ladies I got around me. Oh, hey, everybody want to be with me. Not even knowing that the custom Johnny John said the minute you had sex with a woman, you married to that woman, man. I just found out from her. I was like, wow. I was, that's why he said don't do that. Because when you consummate, in, in our custom, when you consummate, my cousin told me how many women he really been with. Oh, I'm praying for that man. That he repent. Because he was married 40 times. That's why they want you. They want us in that porn industry. Because every one of those porn stars you screwing is now your wife to the most high. You consummated the marriage. with. That was the point that consummated it. The sexual intercourse. So you created fornication. Now what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to give your dowry to the to the to that woman's uh thing, husband, wife, her, her father, or whatever. You took her, okay, and had sex with her and left her stranded. What does that look like to him? You just walked away from your wife. You still need to pay the dowry. You see what they did? That's why they took away our knowledge. They want you sitting there having sex with hundreds of different people. They left. That was the whole agenda. They denied you, but still came in there and had sex with you. When the white, when the woman would show up, or the man would show up, then they flipped it. Let them have all the sex they want to have. Make those clubs big. Party and everywhere. Shaking their booty. Give me, give me some good songs. Because they don't have a clue that the Most High trying to pull them out of this. Okay? I know it's been a little long, but I'm trying to see. When people try to tell me that we can leave whenever we want, we can fly anywhere we want, that slate, this one dude, and I hate, this, this is, like I said, this addiction makes you, when you've been in the devil's world, you see the devil's world. Okay? They got dudes traveling all, they, they, not, they have it now where, they, where they, they publicize our own people traveling around different places to have sex with women and posting it so you can jack off your, your, your ding a -ling. Why do you think they make all these songs that focus on the booty? So you can fornicate. So that you, man, you got little kids. Even when I was in 
school my age, back in the day, I like big butts and I cannot lie. Why do you think he made that song? You know, th this is the whole concept of slavery. You, when it comes to slavery, it's not just the physical aspect when they're whipping you. It's the mental. You, you, when you talk about people that practice in sin on a regular, the wicked. That's why he said he turned it the wicked, they practice it on a regular. They are slave to it. They're going to bring you with it. That's why you can believe that these people are Jews because you don't understand the concept that his kingdom has to be purged of all wickedness. So how can that be his Israel? These people still killing people. They still flying jets, bombing people. He said that that's not going to happen when he establishes his kingdom. It says it right there in Hosea, and y'all don't look at it. You know, and that's the thing that you you, you know, I was watching I watched that movie about how <laughs> the dude was trafficking guns and, and the FBI agent thought they had him dead to rights, and the dude showed up and, and, and bailed him out. But who was he selling the guns to? Who was his main business partner? Africa. That's how them ooze, them Russian made weapons. When Russia, that was the whole thing. It was a setup when they when the when the Soviet Union came down. That was a setup. They wanted to now we can give. That's why we can get weapons on the black market out there. Who's gonna buy them? They set up those drug lords in Africa. Started trafficking guns. Why do you think they did that? Because the most I said, let my people go. Oh no, we're going to make them blow their heads off. That's why they got you in the streets. And on top of that, instigating it themselves. Instigating. Another form of that of that imprisonment of that how they got the slaves to keep going, put them in jail, put them in jail. That is the new buck breaking. That's why they, that was the agenda to get the gay black man out on the street. You getting raped in the prison. That's why they got all these now these porn things where black men having sex all over the place with each other. You think the devil wasn't ready for none of this? How you going to show up to the most high that way? And then going to stand out there and parade, I have the right to be gay. They don't care about what the white people say. Go right ahead. They said the main target audience was Jacob, Yakuba. You just play, helping us play along with it. We don't care about y'all. You're the going. That's why they stand up there with them politicians and like, oh, thank you for supporting me. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> y'all ain't free. We made this. We made this country. That's what they say. We separated from England. <laughs> Watch the video. They, they put it on it. They wanted y'all to see that. That's why I came. If the Masons didn't want you to see that, it would have never been on YouTube. When they put it out there, they lied to you about being separated from England. When they sat up there in, in their 300-year annual ritual, talking about Mason, what are the what are astronaut? And they were mocking it. And oh, hey, here go. You want to put that on the dollar bill again? Yeah, your your all-seeing eye. You know why do you? I was in these a lot of these movies now. You're noticing they're doing a lot of penis symbolism. Penis symbolism. Why do you think they're doing that? Those people are in love. Why do? You, that's what that they use us. The, the Hebrews that got the big. You know what? They love to put that out there because you're actually 
catering to the spirit of the false messiah and the worship of his dingling. They love that. That's why they invented doing oral sex. Made it huge. That's why it's always oral sex been around for years. They that's the whole concept. The oral sex means you work you you that is your part in contributing to the worship of the false messiah's dingling because he he went into his mother. And why you want to worship why you think they want to make pedophilia? Why they lowered lower the age of rape in, in Paris? Why do you think they want to say, you, you got people talking about, I want to marry my own child or whatever. Why do you think they're doing that? They bring it back, they take in the rituals and bringing it to the surface. Because that's what their kingdom is about. That's why they want to say you can you should be able to marry your computer if you want to. What? The, the whole concept of everything goes. I, I know this is long, but you know that's that the, you know I was I was sucked into all this stuff with Kim Jong-un and, and the war. And I, I was actually going to that Christian church and, and the pastor was just snickering. And I could tell he was snickering. Because it's all, that's when the most I pulled me aside and said, look, man, they're playing you. You're getting played. Read 2 Thessalonians again. I'm going to show you the lie. I, when I prayed to him, I asked him, how did the devil deceive the whole world? He's never stopped answering that question. Yeah, he brings me to people to listen to. Because he said that in every, in every, I think Jalombo said it well when he said the angels showed up everywhere. I, I, mean, I, I attended the Seven Day Adventist Church because he sent me to talk, listen to what they had to say. You got to extract everything that's partially true. That's why he said the Muslims, they, play the, they pray the right way. They sing their prayers. But they pray, we know. I know they're going to get offended by this, but this is what, this is how it works. It isn't just you. Everybody's deceived. Christians are deceived just as much as you are. That's why the devil gets a big laugh out of everything. And they, I got a preacher telling me, you know, you, you're so deceived, you can't tell. I said, but I know the devil can, is, is playing more than you know. How he plays sides again. He's he's creating the, the, uh, the all these, you know, the hated of the, the Buddhists. But he's, he's creating all these religious wars. And they laughing because it's like y'all worshiping the same one. You just don't know. All these, these religious wars he causing, and you worshiping the same. That's why Nimrod just sat there like, hey, you already in a one world religion, y'all. You just don't know it. That's why don't he, that's why they don't want me. You know, I said when you come and spill the truth. You can't stand on no street corner in 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 the in the Pharaoh's land. You forget when he said go to the highways and byways, we were in Yas Yas Yisoleli. Because we were already falling off. He was like, man, get get these people back. That's why he, they, remember they killed the prophets. So you want to stand up there saying that you a prophet something? You shall already be dead. Your hair, they, they saw, remember, they saw Isaiah in half. Okay? Well, I don't even know, I don't even want to think about what could happen to me. I, I mean, it's, it's going to suck, I'm pretty sure. I just got to be the most high said, whatever. You know, it's going to be one of those things. All of us know this. We, we put our life on the line. My wife, she gets so scared sometimes. I'm like, look. Obviously, the message isn't done yet, or it would already be done. And they know that. The devil can't, I told you, the Joker had his, let me tell you a story real quick. I know I got, I got I mean, I two hours. I was in a 40-car pileup. 
on I-25. 40 cars. On my way to work. Clear day. It was. It, it, that's how I know they up to something. Because they, they said snow was coming, but it wasn't going to. It's it just like it just appeared out of nowhere. Cars started sliding everywhere. Uh, the sem That's why they said the semi, he was speeding. He started a whole pile up. It was like a chain reaction. I came upon that accident. A Jeep was sitting in front of me. I was at 55 miles per hour coming over a hill with a Jeep just staring at me. I, I happened to be talking to my dad on the phone because we had the car phone thing, but I had it on speaker. And all I, could, all I said, all he heard me say was, shit, 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 shit. And the phone went dead. So he didn't know what the thing happened. And I remember, this is this, this is how, I, this was the devil. He he gonna try to kill people, man. He wanted me dead that day because he knew what was coming. He said that whole thing was set up to stop somebody from spilling the truth. He does this all the time. He's things that look like they look like something different. The news reports it as something different. Oh, was this a random accident? No, there's somebody involved in there that was targeted. Okay? That that day, was it had to have been me because I know to walk out, of, to see a Jeep in front of you and swerve and miss and go head, the car didn't stop, y'all. I hit the Jeep, there were cars off to the side here. And then that wasn't even the end of it. I'm sitting there. This lady hit me in the back. And here comes this big old semi starting to jackknife. Stop just like that. Now, who do you think did that? Okay. And when the lady I got out, we were like, who stopped that semi? Because that should have killed us both. She's like, I know. It was like, we, I had my eyes like this. Because it was going to turn over and flatten us. As it started to, it started to jackknife and it started, and because of that, the stoppage, a truck actually went under another semi. Because of the instantaneous stop and the dude didn't die. What's a, a miracle. The lady that would hit that I hit the Durango and her head was cut open from the car accident. We were able to pull up by she was freaking out. She was she wanted to get out of that car so fast. Every 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 law enforcement officer standing there was in awe that nobody was dead. I even had to help the, the policeman, the, the fire truck dude carry the, the, the extractors to get people out. So I'm trying to tell y'all, when the Most High doesn't give you permission to die, just do what he says. That's what I'm learning now. That was all these things that happened to me in my life. He was trying to get me to get this, get this thing rolling. All these things kept happening to me, but I survived. Because he said, you got a mission ahead of you and you need to get on it. You know, when I found out about the, the my true identity, it was like the most the most the masa moment. What? No, you lying. That's why I tell you about the burning bush thing that I said when he had the burning bush. This is my burning bush revelation, y'all. He said, I've been doing this. That's why he showed me the vision about the skulls. Piled up. I saw another person that talked about that. They saw the skulls piled up. I, I had a vision about my uncle and them fighting with a gorilla. Now I know who the gorilla represents. Okay. Um, you know, I live in a town. I'm sure you hear about they call they call Purple, Colorado, the most crime laden town in America. People don't even know that this used to be run by the mafia. 
Why do you think that is? Why did the Italians come to Pueblo, Colorado? They don't just show up nowhere. They get. You think these godfathers and stuff just happen to show up? And they remember who? That's why they got mad at Francis because he came out and told you the truth about the money laundering. Trying to make himself the good guy. Who was money doing the money laundering for the for the for the Catholic Church? Okay. You know, they, they surrounded this whole town. That's why you can't tell nobody no truth out here. The Catholicism is on the brain. And even with the other you know, the other churches there around here, and they they're pulling people out and they, oh well. You think they'll, they'll say, oh, well, we know the Catholic Church is satanic, so we went to these other churches. Don't even real. You still. <laughs> That's when I had to I had to sit back and laugh because of myself, because here it was. We were never a Catholic, but my dad thought the Methodist was OK. But the Methodist has the most similar ceremonies to the Catholic Church of any of the beliefs. Without the confessing to the priest. Everything the Methodists do is almost identical to Catholicism. We even would say the Apostles' Creed. But yet we're not Catholics. Psh. Most are looking at y'all like, man, you, more, you Catholic. You one of them. You're part of that whole system. The Babylonian system. These evangelists, man, I laugh because my sister goes to an evangelical church and she used to be, and they think they're doing it right. A, a, a Catholic priest stood up and wanted the evangelical. This is how the devil's so slick nowadays, man. He could tell you the truth and you just keep on walking. What? Oh, okay. Man, that's it. We telling people about these Christmas trees. Dude even tell me, he's, he's a learned guy with a doctorate degree in all religions. Oh, that was just a, 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 a fallacy. And I had to respond with, well, why in the world is it in there? In the scripture where he said, don't cut down the tree. Because that's what he said. It wasn't given to him. They don't know. They didn't see it. Our generation saw that tree. And, and the sad part about it is, that was the whole concept of Christmas has nothing to do with the Christians. It's about Yakuba. Because the point is, that's why it, when it was outlawed, the, the, that was part of the payback. We're going to get them to worship him through Christmas. They don't care that the white people work, do the tree. They already know who they are. They want Yakuba to do the tree. Okay? They want the black people that came out of slavery, that they tricked them in all different kind of ways with our own people helping them. The, but why they really call it the Uncle Tom's Cabin. That's what they want. Because the most I keep saying, let my people go. So all they do is they don't tell you that he's already doing this. They just make your life harder and you think, oh man, what did I do? Why is everything happening like this? What's, why is this happening to me? Why is my life so hard? But you don't even realize this was part of the whole concept of let my people go. The drug trade, the porn, the making you a successful businessman. But you don't want to have to get up out of here. You know, people try to say it's, he's, he's, he's switching around the curses. To switch around the curse, like, like you said, to really get your curse switched around, except Isaiah Congo or Nina, Nina Nanini. Get rid of that white image. <laughs> no, I know a lot of white people are going to say I'm, I'm, I'm with the devil, that I'm racist. I'm not a racist. I actually feel, I'm going to tell you right now, um, I feel like the, like like what Elijah said, that the Messiah won't kill the saint. He will pity them. 
I said, I really feel sorry for um, a lot of people now that I'm woke that they don't even see it. I said, man, you know, I don't want to see y'all die either because it's, it's a sad. That's why he said, don't don't wish for it. Because death is nothing. I, I said, the devil is no nothing to to play with. If I'm, I'm learning. You don't want to be in his kingdom, no matter what. Okay, so that's why we we call. I'm like, man, y'all better repent too and accept that the, the true Hamashiach and who he is, because like the Most I said, he wanted the repentance rather than you know. But then, uh, the, but to see the, the the mindset that they're trying to push out to you was that then you're going to become their slaves. Well, he's, that's not our fault because you didn't see it. Now, you, now my people will be saying if they see this, oh, this dude is full of it. He, he's crazy. He lost his mind. Um, it's already happening in some places. You just don't know. They don't tell you that. They kind, of, they kind of, it's happening in the rituals because the white people in those rituals know they're serving black, black fallen angels, false black gods. Okay, the fallen angels. That's why you know they don't tell you this because it's. And I don't man, I'm, I know I'm going too long, but I got so much to say. They don't want to tell you that because then it empowers. Us. Whoa. Really? It's a mind game, people. They created racism as a way to get back at the most high saying, let my people go. Jim Crow laws. Um the civil rights movement to repeal the Jim Crow laws. They enjoy watching you get sprayed with the hoses and the dogs biting you because it was just like what happened in Egypt. This is what they did. When the Mo when Mosa came up and showed up, let my people go, sick the dogs on them. We can work harder. Make brick without straw. So what are they doing? That's, that's why they're going after the food thing. You can't, how you going to, Work if you're hungry. Or if you can't even get the right equipment. That's why they deny you sometimes the ability to even get the money to, to get your tools if you got to have a job. Why you got to go to the pawn shop. Ew, they love that. Trust me, I've been there. Okay? They love setting up these loans knowing full well the money's not even real. They still using us. <laughs> I hope it's a car here. I, know, I love you, brother. I love you. We still on the stock market. That's our gold. That's our money they stole. We still on the stock market. That's why he got to crash it again for real this time, because that's our money. We black people. We still we still on the stock market. They said that didn't stop. And the way they do it is the underground stuff that they're doing, the human trafficking, all this other stuff they're doing, we're still on the stock market. You talk to anybody, I've talked to businessmen, he said if it wasn't for the illegal stuff, there would be a no America. Because a lot of the stuff they got to do for free. They don't pay for it. That's why they love it when you say, give uh, they made loopholes so they don't have to pay taxes. That's why they said, go ahead, taxes. We don't pay no tax. My dad thought I was, my dad's a CPA. He thought I was lying to him. I had to show him the article. Oh, they're taking advantage. All he said was, oh, they're taking advantage of a loophole. We don't even see it ourselves. No. They making money off of us. Everybody else is just along for the ride. They don't see that. That's why they don't care what happens to you. 
You say, oh, they really don't care about us. No. Michael, when Michael Jackson, that was his way of telling you the truth. They don't care about us. you damn right. They don't give a damn because they're going to serve that false messiah. And he definitely don't give a damn about us. That's why he's going to do everything in his mind to keep us running in circles. Then we can't see what he's up to. Cut my head off. I descend into Yakuba, cut my head off. Oh, I'm not good. Yuseka, cut my head off. Oh, no, we're going we gonna, to. That's why you want to know when it, in, the, in the scripture what he's talking about when he said you're going to be beheaded for his name's sake. He's not talking about the people over here. He's talking about Yisolele. When it say he's wearing out the saints, he wearing out the saints of Yisolele. That's why you got people getting their hand cut off when they're working in the mines in Congo. That's why we got to pray for our people, y'all. That's why you got people sitting on, black people everywhere sitting in, man, you should go. I went to Atlanta. Wow. You want to talk about homelessness of black people. Go to some of them big cities in the South, y'all. They know. Everywhere. You kind of tell me, some dude trying to tell me we're not in Jacob's trouble. That's a lie. Go to, watch the homeless people sitting on, on the streets in Atlanta. Look at the body bags coming home from the wars. Are people getting carried in a casket? Look at the, the body bags piling up all over the morgues in the inner city from black people shooting one another and getting high and and and, and uh and um and ODing on stuff. Go look at the strippers, the strippers in the strip club, they throwing dollars at them, calling them. That ain't no different than that movie they made about that uh, island off of Africa where they, 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 the, the, the Spaniards showed up and they were, I can't remember the movie. I think oh, it was called uh, Palm Trees in the Snow. Look, what, look, that movie is no different than what they're doing now. Okay? We need... <laughs> and, and the sad part about these brothers that in these camps... I love y'all. I don't hate y'all. I love y'all. That's why he said you got to love your enemies. You're not an enemy to me. I I, I pray. I know some, some of them may be the clones. I, I know some of them are clones. They don't tell you that. They got clones up in there. They look like, that's why it tears. They look like us. But they're not us. The sixth day. That's why people was tripping about the Mandela effect. Mandela's supposed to be dead. How he's how? Oh no, he we, we, that was a lie, folks. I know there's a lot of people that did for us, but if there, if your leader is not encouraging you to come back to the Most High, Gisolele Kikongo. Sonini, if they're not encouraging that, who do you think they're working for? If they're not encouraging you, if, if, if Trump is not telling the black folks, you need to go back to Yusulele. You can't trust that man. He's sitting there telling you, no, you're anti-Semitic. You hate the Jews. Look what you people just did to our uh, 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 the shop. I'm stepping up. Oh, man. I feel like Sola when he said, like 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 you said, like say, he said, man, I, I can see it. The, the, the my people don't get it. And the Gentiles are over. That's what they say. Well, we understand what y'all don't get it. 
We get it. But then they used it to their, then it was used to their advantage. They start thinking, oh, we the chosen people now. Only the ones worshiping, the, they're the ones that actually know the truth. They don't participate in none of this other stuff. Yeah. They know the ones that put that make sure they're putting up images of the black Jesus that come in there. Yeah. They know. They don't participate in no Christmas and Easter. Yeah. They're going to be in there. They got it more than we do. You got white people that don't celebrate Christmas and all the other stuff, but know the Messiah is black. And do the things he said. And do the feast days. They know. And do the correct samba. The, the problem is. He's like. If they can figure it out. Some of these other white folks that can figure it out. What's wrong with my people? That was the issue that they were having when they were there. That's why he was so upset when the Roman, the Roman shoulder was like, man, I, you don't even, you can't even come in my house. He's like, wow. He can see it and you can't? What is wrong with you? The Canaanite woman can see it and you can't. The one I consider that the people that, that to me are lowered and they're like dogs, they're picked. That's why he said that in the most high kingdom, animals represent nations. That's what he really meant by that. We are the sheep. Among all these other animals, that's why he called them unclean birds and, and unclean, you know, habitation of demons. It also references the real ones too, but I'm just telling y'all. It, it, it's it's so, and I know it waits long, two and a half hours. I'm sorry, Salama. Um, I'm I'm doing this stuff not because I'm trying to hate any particular person. I'm trying to show, and I know a lot of Christians are going to tell me this guy's crazy. I know what we've seen. You need you need to get. I know some guy tried to tell me he didn't even want me to acknowledge it because he said don't take any credibility in that. But I know they lied about when the time frame of all this stuff happened anyway, so you don't even know when when Nero really died. They say 68 AD. They could be lying to you, so it don't match up with the scripture. But get a hold of that Acts of Peter and Paul. You're gonna see the day. When the false messiah showed up and said he was Isaiah. That they try to tell you, you don't, you don't understand, that day already happened. But, the, but what happened is the time of the Gentiles has to be fulfilled. So he'd been running through every generation of people, putting himself in your heart. Ever since that day. When Simon the sorcerer that got in the army with Kepa, Simon... Simon the sorcerer, he come up to Nero and Nero say, I am Messiah. And I will prove it. And, the, and all the and Paul and, and Sola and Kepa were like, What? No way. And he flew up in the air. He changed himself into different people. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all the terrorists can look like us. He, he changed himself into an old man, into a young man, into a woman, into all these different things. That's why they say they look like us. The enemy came into the field and sold his tares, including Benabed, including Yusulele. That's why we hung the Messiah. Because Yusulele was already infiltrated. The false messiah had already started. That's why they were dealing with him the whole time. He was the one in the Pharisees and the Sadducees' mind saying, you're not the messiah. No way. That's why he said, if you knew my father, if you knew me, you knew who him was sent me.
Anyway, uh, Salama brothers and sisters in the Most High, I'm going to keep praying, and uh, I pray that this message does get around. I'm, I'm going to put it out there again that I made another video that people need to watch and understand that the enemy is always one step ahead of us as long as we continue to debate one another and not see. That's why Ezekiel, most I went to Ezekiel said, I'm going to make your head hard because my people are still hard headed. That's what he's telling me to do. I'm going to make your head hard because we're still hard headed. We want to debate. Even when we say we're not supposed to be debating, we want to question history. When they, they, they model, they, <sighs> why do you think they don't tell you about the Indian laws? Why is that not common knowledge? Man, when I, I remember when I read those Indian laws, I said, man, that is cold blooded. They would literally tell them, well, well they, they had a set up to where they had a fine if, if they went into your territory, we'll find them. But man, let them native. They, they came into the United States. They were hanging them on the gallows. They had a story talking about the, the dude was in there, and and he all he did he he was angry because a, a settler came across and he said, "Look, he ain't supposed to be here." And they said, "Oh, well, we'll take care of it," and they never did. So he went across to get his revenge, and they shot him dead. That's in the Indian Laws book. Okay? You want to, you, you, you don't think Yusolele was here a long time ago because of the Roman slave trade that they want to keep hidden from you? We've been, we, we've been everywhere. The most I say, y'all been everywhere. You built every nation. I sent you all everywhere after I kicked you out of um, after you killed my my son. You went everywhere. You might have set up your own king. That's why we were fighting one another. That's why he said brothers going to turn against brother. They made us into the military people to go hunt one another because the Nimrod, he knew they know how to kill each other. They know how to fight each other because they're connected spiritually. They have the same vibes everywhere. They'll find each other. They know what they look like to each other. They'll find each other. You don't need. You don't need to need to. You don't just give them what they want. That's why they, they say give them, make them wealthy. Give them what they need. They'll find each other. That's why when Magellan went to the Philippines, his most of his crew was was black. Do your his, do your research. His crew, he, they took them over the, when they were running the shipping lanes to the Philippines. A lot of the crew members were black. Why? Because when they got to the Philippines, where's Yusolele? They were practicing Bodun. They still do. My ex-wife told me about the island that they sank. The people have ears like rabbits. Okay, donkey tails. I, I dated a woman, the most I say we were connected before. She was a, dark, a darker skinned Filipino lady. She saw a witch sitting at the table like a carabao. Her, her and her brother looking through the window like, whoa! How'd she do that? And then ask yourself this question Why in the world does the carabao look like the African water buffalo? Almost identical! How do you think those carabao got to the Philippines? That island that's separated from the rest. What? These islands are separated, but they got water buffalo? They call them carabao? What they call? <coughs> Y'all don't. You know, I remember the Caribbean talking about a deer that can swim across the ocean. That's, they're like, how, how did deer get in the Caribbean? They got deer all over those islands. Came from, come from the mainland. 
Yeah, they can swim in that ocean. Folks, we got to wake up, man. We got to come together because if y'all can't see the writing on the wall, they getting ready, them ships are getting ready to come, up, come over and start extracting. And, and if you read 2 Ezra, and I'm learning this now, like it says, some of us, when he, when he talk about people going into the granary, the ones that's the real useful lately, it even talks about the fact that some of y'all are going to be rejoicing. Some of us are going to be sorrowful. And others are going to be bound. Now, why would he bind us when he picks us up? What do you think you did? That's why they won't put that scripture in there. Because it, 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 it ruins the effect of the, of the rapture that they're trying to preach. They're taking away. Ezra said, Ezra said, woe unto those that are taken, but most more woe on those, they said much more woe to those that are left behind, but much more woe to those that are taken because, like you said, when the harvest comes, they're going to pull up the tares and the wheat and the, and the wheat together. And if you don't look like you, Solele, you're going in that furnace. That's why they made them. They know what the, the fallen angels made them furnaces. They already got them ready for burning. They don't keep that. That's a secret that they finally coming out with when he said the tares going to be burned. They already ready, man. But they ain't gonna tell you that. They kind of give people giving you visions in, in various ways, like, oh, it's the Illuminati and the Freemasons and they're shutting down everything. No, they're getting ready to do the, the, the harvest is coming. And they know they got a job to do to take care of the tares. The two thirds. Some of us going to be burned with the fire that, that falls from the sky. All right. So we, we you know, we really got to come together as a nation, period. I mean, I know they're going to get mad because they don't want that. They're trying to stop it at any cost. Because when we come together, the truth going to come out. The whole truth. And I love y'all, and, and I want to see every one of us make it because that's why I do this. I may not look as dark as some of y'all. I get it, but the most I said, I use anybody. I don't even know if I'm going to make it because of the scripture. I don't know. We'll see. I still have to live righteously myself. Like he said, you know, each day you got you to gotta make sure that you're living According to what he says. That's why this whole thing about one saved, always saved is, is, is a 100 satanic lie. They tell you that so that you can feel comfortable when you commit sin that it's okay. You, you got the blood covered. You repented. Now, you, you want to know who the primary? Again, they did that as revenge for who? That's why they got you teaching us this. That's why the Baptists running around talking about, oh, we are already saved. We got the Holy Spirit. That's why you got all these Methodists and other, you know, evangelical people. Woo, we got this. We we are we going to heaven. I had a guy sitting in, in the uh, he I ran the church where I saw him. Hey, brother, we are already going to heaven. And I, I I was like, you can't like they said you can't. That's why he said you can't when you when you're talking to the dogs and and. and don't give your pearls to dogs or, or pigs and trample on the meat. There's like my like my some of my family, you just can't tell them that. Because they're gonna come back. I had a lady who's cut my hair a little bit. No, I'm not supposed to, and I'm trying not to, but you know, forgive me. Our um she said it's all cultural. Every that has nothing to do with heaven and hell. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about when I say 
why they have to teach Christianity a certain way to people to make you believe that there's only 66 books in the scriptures when the original scrolls were hundreds of books? Why they had to cut pieces and parts out? Why they gave the black people a slave Bible? They gave them a slave Bible because they didn't want them to know. When they see Azaniah, wait, we just came from there. Azaniah, what? That you don't let them read it. What do you think happened with those revolts in Haiti and all this other stuff? It had nothing to do with us wanting freedom. It was because we found out the lie. What the frick? And they had to get it back under control because it was going to spread to the rest of us. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This is our book. That's why they changed the freaking names. Forgive me. Right. I know I'm getting a little upset because and I'm not angry because it's just so, it's like, man, it's right, the devil put the truth right in front of your eyes. And it's like, wow. How blind was, I have to put my finger right here. That's when he said, remove the log. I was blind too. I was so, I was like, man, what? Seriously? And the, that's why those people call themselves the enlightened ones because they know. But they they not enlightened because they getting played too. They just don't think that way. That's why you can't tell them anything. They think when the guy was interviewing the dude, the old guy, oh, Lucifer is the best thing that could ever happen to us. <laughs> and dude was like, what? They can't even see it. But yet they, they sitting there tricking everybody. All right. That's a very pretty long video. Um, I know. I hope everybody will take the time to watch it. Uh, Salama and uh, bless, be blessed. May the Most High, Isaiah, Isaiah, and the Most High, Yehovah, or Yehovah, as you know, is uh, Congo. To many of the Bantu, and as you know, as Sonini Nanini and other names, I know my my, my friend from uh, he's a Hebrew from the Igbo say Chuku Abiyama. Okay, so and that's why when they say we spoke in tongues, we are. And let me get it real quick. Y'all people in Africa. I hear y'all speaking in tongues. Like over here, I was in a church evangelical where they were speaking in tongues. I'm going to tell you right now, my wife said the same thing I said. Why does it always sound the same? Like they don't ever change. I said, there's no way. They said something totally different than the last time, but they, they, I hover the hover, they're speaking. This. I'm like, wait a second. The most I said, read the scripture one more time. It says they spoke their own language. However, everybody that was around them could understand them. You don't have to switch into some strange sounding tongue. That's a hoax. You're actually bringing demons into you doing that. Because that's why you stay blinded by these people doing this. I don't care what the investigator has to say. I'm telling you right now, read the script. The, the, they did not have to change how they spoke. They spoke their own language and everybody could understand them. African people in these enveloped churches, get out of those churches, man. You already could speak in tongues with the Holy Spirit. That's why you hear when people say, I speak 75 languages or 20. That, that's what that means. The different dialects. You already speaking in tongues. And they came over and tricked you into speaking into the, another tongue. Like they said, oh, you know, now you're really speaking in tongues. No. The, our people did not have to change. They did, the, the followers of Yesiah, Nanini Nanini, did not have to change their speech. That's why when they went to uh the, the one the Greek people they said, are these the gods that come come down? We need to we need to uh 
to uh um sacrifice to them. And they say, oh no! They start tearing stuff. Don't do that. That's why even the Malachi, the angels say, no, you don't bow to us. You bow to uh what what in the in the in the Yim Chibalama video said, you bow to uh Tatanzami Yamazulu. The angels won't even you know, if that angel got you bowing, and I saw the picture where the, the, when the person received the stuff from the angel, he was on his knees receiving the book. That's Lucifer. If you see a man bowing before an angel saying that he got a revelation, that's Satan. An angel's not going to make you bow before him. It says he pretends to be an angel of light. And if you bow him before him and he didn't tell you to get up, That's Satan. Okay? Plain and simple. So quit believing our own people. It's sad. Even for me, it was, I was like, and, and, and then my, I was talking to my sister who went there. Who, why she won't go into any other churches? And I was breaking it down like, oh, well, you really open my eyes. I was breaking it down what she actually did, and she still didn't. Well, I can kind of see how that's true. What? Wait a minute. You saw. You saw it with your own. That's why he says you see, but yet you do not understand. That's why he says, how long do I got to be around like these people? Wait. The kingdom is already here around you. You can't even see it. Because the devil has blinded you. You know, these other people, I sit there and I said, you know, I started saying, now I realize that most Christians don't even read this book. They claim to read it. But you know why they say they're confused and have no understanding is because they don't understand the people it's talking about. But the people who it's talking about, they understand completely. They know what he means. They have no confusion. Remember, he divorced Yisolele. He did not divorce Yaounde. So Yaounde has all the info. That's why you find even in America... That there's the own day they say, oh, yeah, we know. Because he didn't erase everything from Yaounde. Some of Yaounde that came over here, that's why he called him to wake us up, because they know. That's why the information comes out. But do you think that some of Yaounde didn't betray us? Think again. Because they got a hold of some of them. Like, oh, no, 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 no. We got to get on. We got to hook them up. Get them some money. Put them on a pedestal. Rise them up. Yes, I'm going to give glory to those who know have knowledge. Pray, you know, let us praise the Most High for you know Chiba Maloma, uh, Jonathan, uh, um, the Issachar couple, the, the other, other, the, a lot of the Hebrews that still release knowledge. But I'm trying to tell you, we don't. I'm not even going to mess with who's a false prophet and who isn't because the Most High said and Sola made this clear. The Most High will expose them. They'll be exposed. They exposed C Simone the, the sorcerer when, when Philip was like, he couldn't raise the woman from the dead and Philip was like, and so he just walked up, said the prayer, his power exchanged. What? Simone was like, whoa, I need to learn that for the purpose of what? Manipulating. Because the false messiah, that's the portion he didn't have. So he was trying to get it. Because you know, the, the reality is, you can't get it unless you found somebody that has it. The most I made that very clear. Either I give it to you directly, or you got to find somebody that really has it. That really has it. And they're going to give it to you. That's why they have to be careful who they pick. That's why he told him, don't just give it to anybody. Because they'll use it. Like, that's why he got that, that, that's why he knew Simone, Simone the sorcerer is gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna use this to make money. 
Okay. But did that always happen? Were they always careful? No. That's why we have people using it, their gift to, to, to manipulate us, to expose us. That's why we, we, we fall in. Okay. All right. Well, I know I went pretty long here. Salama. Um, Kimbo, Kimbo, hallelujah. All praise to the Most High because this was something that he, man, I don't know. Like I said, literally, it felt like he was screaming in my ear. My ear, <laughs> a couple of times now, it's been ringing like, whoa. And people try to say, oh, that's just a medical condition. They tell you that because that's how the spirits, they communicate. They, they know that. Their ears ring when the devil talking to them. They know that. That communication, that's why your ears are actually ringing when the uh when the when those towers are going off because that's demonic speech. But they try to hide that. But I got downloaded with a message. If you don't get downloaded with a message, then it's demonic speech. You're just hearing noise. Or if it's or you're not tuned in, you're just hearing noise. You think, well, my ear's ringing. Oh, man, something wrong with my ear. And, and his, yo, he's trying, he's knocking on the door. Come in. Can I come in? You know, the devil does it both ways because people say, oh, well, maybe that was the devil you're talking to. I said, no. I'm going to tell you right now. The reason why he's coming for me is because I saw how he plays us. I saw it, and he even was sitting there bragging. You think I'm lying to you? The same thing he was telling me is written in the book of Bartholomew that they try to say is a Gnostic gospel. They tell you that so you don't read it. And it says all oh, craziness. He's sitting there spilling his guts that there's no weather pattern. There's none of this stuff. I do that. I, 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 that's why he got mad. He's like, you're making me tell my way, tell, tell me before it's my time. That's why the truth is coming out now because it is his time. He has to tell you what he did. But he's doing it in what? Slick ways. I'm putting it out there little by little. But you're not going to see it. That's what he's doing. You got to be slick with it, man. Tell him the truth, but don't, 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 don't give it away. Because we still got to keep them, you know. We got to keep those souls. We got to tell them the truth, but we got to be, ooh, embellish the truth a bit. Make, make them like, you know, aliens and stuff. But you still, we still told them the truth. When the devil is always a catch. Always. He may give you the truth within a lie. You, you got it. says the scripture said the truth is hidden in plain sight. Only the wise, the true wisdom people will, re, will, will will catch it. That's why I'm so glad that there's people that I started realize. Oh man, when I pray for the wisdom, he's been downloading me with because I, I like Solomon. He said, "I'm so glad you didn't ask for riches. I don't need to be wealthy." I just want to understand what's going on because some, it don't seem right. And none of us know that. And he said, yeah, it's not. That's why I wanted you in the word. Studying it. Because I wanted you to see. You got eyes, but you do not see. That's why they made the movie called Eyes Wide Shut. You got eyes, but you can't see nothing. Because we got y'all. That's why they did that movie. He put a little too much in it. That's why they didn't like, well, you know, some of them things, he's like, oh, done, should have done that. I'm going to tell you what they left out of that movie. The animal worship, the sex of children, okay, and who's really running, and, and, and uh, the name of the people that's really running that sounds, the, the image, the, 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 the names of the uh, beings that they have to call upon. Okay. That's why you sit there and you wonder why these 
so many of these uh, celebrities of what's wrong with them. <laughs> You don't even want to. You you don't even want to go. That's why I told you about the donkey. You think that you would be in your right mind if you had to have sex with a donkey? They got some porn like man. I've seen. It's it's ridiculous. Bestiality. I don't understand it. But it happens, and it, that's why they bring. The porn world is designed to bring the ritual truth to the to the light. Well, all this stuff we're doing, we put we put a but they gotta keep the people who are important so that you don't know with the mask on. That's why they put masks on because they can't let you know. Well, I'm the one that did that. But I gotta keep my illusion intact. That's why they call it masquerade. Because they masquerading, they masquerading. As good people. That's why it's masquerade. It's the hidden hand. We're masquerading like we're doing it right. But we're not. All right, y'all. Salama. Uh, praise to the Most High. Once again, blessings be upon y'all. And I pray that this message will enlighten you and be blessed. Hallelujah. Salama.